The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? Oh, blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, same. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am uh, Scotty German. I'm your host. I am, uh, you know, Scooter McFuckstick as usual, but um, not as usual. We've got, well, two excellent stand-up comedians. Yeah, yeah not as usual. <laughs> usually yeah, we only have man. one. No, normally yeah. we have one really fun. No, I'm just kidding. Uh-huh. Uh, but no, we have two excellent stand-up comedians. We have two mediocre comedians. <laughs> yeah, real uh, mediocre. No, they're, they're better than that. Two mids. I don't know about that. <laughs> I, I I think we're all good. I'm a midsection. <laughs> ah, <laughs> no. First, we have the 1984 Kingman County. No, we're not even going to go with that. He's the 1984 Sedgwick County Ski Ball de- uh, Champion of. I don't know what we do. Ski Ball <laughs> Defensive Player of the Year. <laughs> yeah, that guy. Ski Ball. Uh, his name is JP. What's up, everybody? It's great to be here. It's fucking weird. How, how, let's let's hear all about your ski ball D. Yeah, let's do it. How do you, how do you defend in ski ball? Well, you? you're not supposed to. <laughs> uh, that's the first thing. Well, first um, off, show me a rule book that says you can. not That's right. Hey, well, Dave and Buster's has one. <laughs> yeah, I've been kicked out multiple times. <laughs> okay, fair um, enough. And look, I find that the smaller the child is throwing the ball, the easier it is to defend. That oh, makes, I agree. I agree. So, yeah, that's um, right. Yeah, that that was my key. Always yeah. go for the smaller children. That's and, right. And you can basically swat all but like one or two. Away. That's kind of your life motto. Pretty much. Yeah. Just go for the basically. smaller children. <laughs> Which is why I have to register anytime I move within five miles of the school. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. And also, he is the 2021 funniest person in Wichita, Kansas. He is none other than the wreck of Mr. Derek Alders. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah, I'm here. Yeah, uh, you're here. You know, uh, um, I think I finally figured out what JP stands for. What's that? What's that? <laughs> Jeremy Poser. Oh, really? Oh, <laughs> no. no. Jeremy I never, Poser. I no. could never fill those shoes. <laughs> That's I, Well, yeah, he's a nine and a half. And I'm a ten and a half. Yeah, you could not fill those. No, that, there's no way they would break. No, mm-hmm. yeah, yep. you'd be busting out at the seams. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yes, I would. Fair enough. Uh, but guys, if this is the very first time that you've listened to the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast, go back and listen to all of the other episodes because they're uh, better. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> they're much better. <laughs> No, uh, no. If, you, if this is the very first one you've listened to, this is a comedy podcast about the current events that are going on in sports and things that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. Uh, this is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and make loud noises. So if that's not your thing, you're in the wrong place. Get vagina. <laughs> See, get the fuck out of here. Thank you and goodbye. Is this where we finally start horse talk? I, can we finally have the conversation? Fuck yeah, we can. Here's What's the horse, horse right talk? here. Yeah. Horse talk. Well, I mean, I mean, me and Jeremy were always good. we always wanted to do horse talk. Yeah, and and Scotty was like, nope, we that's not the kind of podcast we are. We run a tight ship. No, that's not and what I said. Absolutely, is. I want I want to talk about horses. I've got the lashings on my back. To prove <laughs> that that is what oh, you really? Say. Yes. Oh shit, oh, man, that's not know. good. I would never do that to you. Yeah, I would. <laughs> See? Um, but anyways, uh, we've got a great episode for you uh, today. Oh, you got what? a naked lady on your phone as a wall. Oh, wait, that's your mom. No, that's my nice. wife. Well, anyway. That's my wife. Nice. That's my wife. Uh, but no, we've got a great episode. Scotty has a naked picture of his mom as his background. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's my wife. Mm-hmm. And she ain't naked. Well, um, it is Kansas. Right? Wife, mom, same thing. Same thing, yeah. I mean? Uh, we got sports news to go over. There was a lot of shit that happened over this last week at Week 18. McFuck's day. Yes, it is. Uh, we've got overrated, underrated. If we were Google or Google this, uh, we got some questions and preguntas. What's in the box? Uh, a draft, and as always, a shitty situation. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know what? We're going to start off what we normally do, and that's what we like to call our week week recap. What we like to talk, or what happened to us over the last week. And so, none other than Mr. JP. You've been gone since the live show. 
that was the last time we saw you it was it yeah. was thanks for the invite yeah uh, you bet i mean it's it's almost like you don't like me man no uh, a- actually i was rather surprised look, i've seen the other people on the show and i'm just better Here, that, here's, uh, here's I'm the just, deal you know i think and that's why i'm because I, I trust me i wanted to trade you seats yeah, like I yeah. wanted to sit over there, and I've never but sat over here, so I, I kind of like it. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, it's it's the primo seat. It smells um, better down there. Yeah, I'm telling you, it yeah. does. Yeah, um, but the thing is, is I'm going to have to act. There is so much sexual tension between you two <laughs> that I have to act as a buffer because I know that I will instantly turn anyone off. So when you look over at me, dick goes down. When he looks over at me, dick goes mid. <laughs> it never goes yeah. all the way down, yeah. not for yeah. Scotty. Yeah, no, no. Not I that mean, you can see it, but uh, right. It's always yeah. at least half mass. Yeah. Nice. All right, cool. Mine's a decent cool. size. My belly just gets in the way. So. Right, <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah, they say if you lose uh, every uh, like twenty pounds, you lose. Uh, mm-hmm. You get an extra inch of dick. Nice. So you're saying so, if I lost forty pounds, I'd have a fourteen inch cock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly Man. what I'm saying. All right, things to do. There, things to do before I turn fifty. <laughs> there you go. And if I lost forty pounds, you wouldn't have as much yeah. cushion on your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> if you lost forty yeah. pounds, we'd have to move the whole table back. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. You sure would. <laughs> uh, damn, it's it's like a pillow for your for your Good noggin. Lord. Yeah. Uh, so, anyways, <laughs> what what have you been up to, JP? Doing uh, what you doing? Not much, man. Yeah. You know, I never do. I know. I'm super chill. I don't do a whole lot. I bowl every week. I play poker sometimes. That's true. Uh, Uh, I played poker over at Derek's one night. Yeah. Uh, I appreciate it. That went really well. Yeah, that went really well. Um, He gets very mad because I'm such a superior player. uh, He's just really lucky, man. That ain't no shit. Oh, my God. It's like he's good. Don't get me wrong. But he also gets every hand. I know. Like. Every hand he's got something. I know. Even if he's got shit cards, the flop just hits him square in the yeah, head. Yeah, if he time. stays into oh. a flop, he he gets something uh, out. Yeah, of him. for sure. Go on, piece uh, of go, shit. Go, go on. <laughs> well, you know he's the luckiest man out of all of the people that we know. He's the oh, only one sure. that won a shitload for of money sure. on Wheel of Fortune. But you know what? So. Look, that's nothing compared to the JP money I've won playing poker. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm telling <laughs> you. Know yeah, Pes- that's why Pes- he Pes- Jack doesn't up. have shit on me. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> that's why he was homeless for so long. He kept on having to give you money. Right. Jesus, you guys go out and eat. Make sure you tip JP because I could. Really use the money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait to fuck you up. Oh. Uh, well, we got one going down Saturday, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're yeah. gonna do one Saturday. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited. Uh, we're all gonna play Texas Hold'em. Scotty's gonna be playing Indian poker, and that's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's cool. I'm, I'm cool good with that. With that. Yeah, I'm good with that. It's like probably race. better. Yeah, it'd probably be better. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, shit. But, no, anyway, what have you been up to? Yeah, what have you been up to? That's Sorry. it, man. That's really. it. Okay, so I got to bring... Playing poker and bowling, I, that's that's really all I do in work. I, well, and, nor, and normally we try to record these shows on uh, on Monday nights, but you have bowling? Are you actually a good bowler? I'm very good. Are you full of shit? Yeah, he's like no, one, I'm what, very 150, good. 160 average? No, it, well... On my good days, 145. Do you wear like no, one of those man. wrist brace bullshit things? No. Just when he's jacking people off. Okay. That I makes average sense. between 220 and 230. Okay. That's not bad. I did that in high school. No, it's pretty Wait. fucking good. And right. I would bowl either of you for money anytime you want to do that. There's no fucking way. I don't, well, I don't bowl. Then don't make fun of me, man. I, I want, give me six weeks. Yeah, I want bumpers. I'll give you a fucking year. <laughs> I want bumpers, pizza, and beer. That's what I want. That's okay. The, that's the only way. That's I, fine. I, I'll, as long as we're still playing for money. Oh, fuck no. I'm not doing that shit. Right. I'm not well, you stupid. you got bumpers. That's such a stupid game. It's not even a sport. It's just a game. No, it's not a sport. Okay. All right. We all to... agree with that. Yep. Fuck bowling. If you okay. can do it drunk, I'd be embarrassed. I would be embarrassed to be good at it. I know. If you were a professional bowler, bowler how much puss do you think you'd actually get? None. He's gay, Scott. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he, well, yeah. All I want. Yeah. I ever, it, they, basically, I just have puss throwing itself at me all day yeah. long. Yeah. And, I'm, and you're just like, I like dick. Get yeah. away from me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Don't, yeah. Don't come after my odor eaters, yeah. Jack. Yeah. So, so I- <laughs> odor eaters, sponsor of the PBA since 1437. <laughs> <laughs> back when the Flintstones were bowling. <laughs> um, but no, I got to tell a story about this because it actually came up. I have a buddy that I actually talk to on a, on a, a somewhat regular basis. We already know this is bull- it's his imaginary As soon friend. as he said buddy, I know yeah, he's lying. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. No, it's actually a listener of the show. And uh, His right. name's Tom McPepsy. No, his name's Frankie. <laughs> I love this dude. He's Frankie re- McPepsy. No, no. But uh, my buddy Frankie, he, I actually FaceTimed him uh, last week. 
And uh, it just kind of came out of nowhere because we were talking about Jeremy's last episode and all that other shit. And then you guys started jerking off. No. No? No. 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 Jerking each other off. No, no, no. It was FaceTime. You so, can't do that. So I had Someday. So somehow Technology's you. Technology's coming a long way. Somehow, JP, you actually came up. I'm not surprised. No, it was, I, it was. You act like every time that Scotty says somebody mentions me on the show or how popular I am on the show, he's all surprised. And I'm like, you know how dope I am. <laughs> People love me. Yeah, how can do. you blame? I that's don't true. Blame we them. know how much dope you smoke. Well, that right. too. That's, yeah, that's that too. You are, well, I guess you are what you smoke. You JP. are what yeah. you, you smoke. Are dope. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, he, he actually <laughs> asked and he wants to know and he wants to hear it from you because he asked me. He goes, I know all you guys pretty much kind of are a character on the show. But <laughs> except yeah, for Derek, he yeah. really is this lame. He I'm is, really yeah. just a piece, a piece of shit, <laughs> angry That's fellow. Totally true. Petty yeah. as hell. Uh -huh. uh, but no, that he literally asked me. He goes, okay, "If I was gay, if, is he really gay?" Everybody says that, man. Uh, that happens almost every show that I do. I have at least one or two people that come up out of the audience, and they're like, "Man, that was a great show." Dude, my girlfriend really thought you were gay, or my boyfriend really thought you were gay, whatever the case is. Or I'm blind and I heard you and I thought you were black. <laughs> right. You know, that too. That too. Yeah. Just because of how deep your voice is. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's from stretching his esophagus from so, from so much cock. Yeah. That really is. If you want a, a nice, deep, raspy voice, I suggest suck cock. Is that lots what that guy lots, from Boys to Men did? Yeah. 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 Oh, oh yeah. for sure. No yeah. doubt. Yeah, yeah it's totally Motown true. Philly. Back again. <laughs> That's right. Yes, sir. <laughs> but no, yeah. But yes, yes, sir. Uh, what was his name? His name's Frankie. <laughs> Frankie. Yes. Uh, <laughs> McCapsy. I am a, Frankie McCapsy. I am, a, I am a real resident homosexual. And if I'll, you know what? Scotty will give you my number <laughs> and uh, we can FaceTime and I'll prove it to you. <laughs> no, no, we don't want to do that. Okay. Or you can meet up at the truck stop well, and he'll prove it to you. That's always an option, yeah. but that, that costs. That that Flying J is a pretty popular place. Oh, oh, that yeah. costs. Yeah. Oh. Yes, I don't do that for free anymore. Oh, okay. oh I thought you meant he was going to cost. Oh. No, no, I get the money this time. Uh, oh, oh guys. Nice, nice. Got you it. know, sooner or later, you just <laughs> you got to stop doing charity and yeah. take care of yourself. <laughs> Otherwise, you end up homeless. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> and nobody wants to blow job from a homeless guy <laughs> I, would say, uh, I wouldn't say i, I wouldn't say no yeah. yeah you ever been in a bad glory hole no, no. <laughs> that's no. the answer exactly yeah. no ah uh, shit <laughs> all right but yes Frankie. i was in third grade <laughs> so from so basically from bowling to blowjobs, we've summed up my last two months. <laughs> That's great, uh, but no, but since since uh, since the live show, I mean, you got to experience it. You had people oh, come up. Oh, it was up. awesome, man! Yeah, it was had, awesome. It was a fun time. A lot of people came up and specifically wanted to see you. Yeah, and I don't like again. <laughs> this is not a surprise. I know it's uh, not. I was not surprised. I was surprised at how few people there were. You know what I mean? They like came up to see you. Right. Yeah. yeah. And and I think that the, it was it weird having Scotty's parents come up yes, saying they and wish you were their son. Oh, no. It was no. weird, but at the same time it was cool because they put me in the will. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And you kinda understood. And yeah. I under, I totally yeah. understand. Fuck you. I've known Scotty for long enough to know. Thanks, mm. guys. You guys are so sweet. They wish they had never adopted them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I envy people who haven't met you. They're like, I should have rolled over and let them run down the yeah, front of me. Yeah. <laughs> That's so gross. Maybe a better one would have got in there first. I'm, categori I'm in the same category as fucking Hitler. Okay. Uh, are you really? Yeah. Wow. Wish nice. uh, Hitler's father you, uh, pulled out. Yeah, I know. That's dark. Okay, so I actually had an excellent week. I had a fucking phenomenal Sweet. week and weekend. Moving on. No, no. Uh, I didn't talk about this last uh, last week, and I, I forgot, and I was I was so excited about it. My uh, my brother, Obviously. My brother got me this thing called a Furbo. Oh, yeah, man. Those are dope. Holy fuck. I agree. It's like a camera for your dogs. So when if you leave your dogs like out of a pen and um, they Listen, get to roam. If you keep your dogs in a crate or in a pen, you're a piece of shit. Hey, Derek. Train your dog better. That's right. Hey, Derek. Yeah, my dog has a fucking... Your dog likes her fucking she has, kettle, She man. has a bladder the yeah. size of a goddamn <laughs> pea. That's <laughs> true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Unless you're a miniature greyhound, it's... <laughs> right. Italian greyhound. Then it's okay. She's okay. Italian. Italian. She's in the mob. Italian miniature <laughs> greyhound. I'm Jeez. peeing over yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm peeing over here. Yeah. I'm peeing over here. I'm like, Wrigley, you want to go outside? I'm watching fucking Rocky. I'm like, no. <laughs> Adrian. <laughs> but a furbo is basically she's a made fucking dog. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah, she is a made she dog. Is a, yeah. yeah, she's got it good. 
Uh, but no, a Furbo is like this little like swiveling camera that if the, your dogs bark, it alerts your phone and you can pull up the camera to see what they're barking at, which is fucking awesome. But if they're just Which like, is basically the camera because you can shoot treats out of them. That's goddamn so, right. Yeah, that's it's, what they're barking it's at. It's fucking cool. Yeah. No, they're barking at people that come up and like uh like deliver packages yeah. to my door or some shit. And so they're just sitting there just losing their fucking shit. And I just get on there and I push the button to uh, like give them a treat. That's awesome. It makes a noise. They stop barking. They come over. They get the treat and they calm the fuck down. It's absolutely amazing. But I get to see like what they do. What if you did that? Okay. So I somebody's, break, right, somebody's yeah. breaking into the house. The dogs start going crazy, right? Uh-huh. And then you go, oh, shit, the dogs are going crazy. Somebody must be delivering a package. You hit the fucking tree button. Now the burglars got free reign. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, the dogs come down. I'll go ahead and try. I'll yeah. go ahead and come on in. Well, you can't give them a treat without seeing the camera. So if a fucker's coming in, right. I get to talk to him, too. I get to push uh, a microphone, and like, I can say, I see you. I see you, motherfucker. I'm I, recording. Get out of my house. My dogs are going to kill you as they're, like, jumping on them and licking them. And, telling you I need one of those for my wife. It's no secret. <laughs> like, somebody <laughs> rings the doorbell, and I'm like, here, here honey. <laughs> Truffle, go get it. Truffle. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you're home. At least you're going to put truffles in there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's yeah, nice, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, I, Not cheap. Yeah. <laughs> My brother got that for us, so that was pretty fucking cool. Uh, is, they are cool. Even cooler, I don't want to spend too much time about this, but Damar Hamlin is out of the hospital. Very uh, cool. We had a, Dahmer we, Hamlin. No, Damar. <laughs> uh, that sounds like a fucking dealership. No, uh, Dahmer Hamlin. The vi- Come on down and get a BMW. The, vi- the video last week of, of me and Jeremy ripping the shit out of the fucker that are were uh, blaming T Higgins for uh-huh. that hit yeah. did very very well and so I was really excited. T we Higgins were, really appreciates that. I he, know he yeah. actually he uh, messaged he us. called me he messaged us. Yeah, I'm sure. No, he really did. Yeah, I'm sure he did. He fucking did. You that you would have immediately he <laughs> started with that. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, you would. Nah, he, me and him are bros now. Yeah, yeah. we uh, <laughs> we're having tea on Sunday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it turns out he's gay. He's hanging out with JP. It's actually Ski Higgins. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ski Higgins. Higgins. yeah. He's a fucking professional ski ball player down at Dave and Buster's. That's he's true. calling JP out. Oh, that's true. It's it's on this Sunday. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Come on down to the local Dave and Buster's this Sunday and catch the match. <laughs> Sunday, <laughs> Sunday, 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 Sunday. It's ski ball. Yeah, exactly. Ski ball at Dave and Buster's. Ski ball. Seven p.m. Kids get in free. Be there. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's it's not bowling, but it'll be a lot of fun. It's pretty uh-huh. close. It's kind of the same sport. It's, uh, it's exactly the same. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, other than that, uh, I actually am extremely proud. Um, I'm getting ready to go uh, snowboarding again. I do every year. Uh, I go to Angel Fire, New Mexico, and uh, at the end of God, February, I hope he hits a tree. Uh, yes. they, they pray for that shit every huh. fucking year, and it never happens. Uh. I don't watch hockey, but that time of year, I'm a big Avalanche fan. Yeah, oh. right. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, dude. <laughs> uh, it wouldn't take much. No, uh, no, I I spent a lot of money. Not just on me. Not just on me. For the longest time. But I, on prostitutes. No. I I actually, yeah. I've had a snow. They call that snow. Fuck yes, you. I actually have had my own snowboard now going on for three years, and I love that board. But I hate my bindings. I hate when I get off of the fucking lift at the top of the mountain. Oh, fucking prob- I mean, dude, first world problems. Man. I know. I, I have feel I, horrible I, I, for you, man. I Your bindings you are messed the, up. I hate when you make it to the bottom of the mountain. Uh-huh. That's what I hate. Spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> anyway... I right. hate having to actually strap up my right foot. Oh, that sucks. It really it you should takes hire so, you should hire somebody to do it for you. I okay, JP, you want to go? JP, yeah, dude, if you'll pay up. my actually, way, actually, I you take up. that back. I want Derek to go because he would actually have to ride up the goddamn uh, lift and then somehow get down the mountain and show any kind of athletic ability, which I know he doesn't have. I'll cross you over. I'm fucking like an Iverson. <laughs> you, you will. He's basically the Allen Iverson yeah. of snowboarding. Yeah, he will roll down the mountain, turn into a fucking snowball, and splatter all over the goddamn parking lot. But as anyway, long as I run but anyway, into you, so your bindings are all messed up. No, I actually purchased the oh, brand new, new step on bindings to wear it now. You just step it I, on. That's it. And that's it. And man. I go, man, you're I'm cool. fucking pumped. But I you also, are so cool. I also ended you're up. You're going to get all the bitches. Uh, all the bitches are going to be like, wife. have you seen his bindings? I, oh, I, I man, also you're bought get laid my so wife. Many fucking times, dude. shut up. <laughs> <sighs> I bought my wife bindings. Skis, He's not going to like having <laughs> Jeremy poles. gone. And, and yeah. us together. He's not going to like this all. <laughs> he bought skis and poles and bindings and <laughs> snowboards. Who's the homosexual and, on this show? Oh, my goodness. So exciting. I'm going to go snowboarding. The cocksucker at the end. (laughs) Which end? That one. I don't know. Derek, Uh, how was your fucking week, you piece of shit? (laughs) 
great now. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting better. Yeah. And hot really, it's looking up. Uh, I was excited. Uh, the big thing, big news for me this week, uh, I shit a turd. Because <laughs> uh, uh, it wasn't liquid. No, yeah, I, I have been peeing out of my ass for the last five days. Oh, that's not uh, good. I've been on roids. Not that, that's your favorite. That's lube for you there, JP. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't say no. Oh, fuck. That's yeah. disgusting. <laughs> that's gross. Yeah, so I was really excited about that. I actually had texted my wife, yeah, and I was like, I pooped great. a turd. Did you take a picture and send it to her? <laughs> no. You should have. No, I texted her, and I said, hey, right shape, wrong color. But we're getting there. <laughs> oh, jeez. There you go. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so, it's uh, baby steps. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> Second day, full on right up, right where it should be. Fantastic. So, great. Yeah, I was uh, been sick, bad. Uh, since Thanksgiving, essentially. Oh. And they'd been pumping me full of fucking steroids, and that started fucking with my stomach. And now I'm hopefully back to normal. You I seem have, pretty sprightly. Uh, yeah, I yeah. have. You tend to look much better. This is the first day I have felt ha decent without medication since Thanksgiving. Yeah. So I haven't been without medication since like fucking 10 Thanksgivings ago. Oh, yeah. 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 ADHD. So, oh, yeah. That's you it. name it. I'm taking it. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm finally, uh, I hopefully on the mend. I still have good deal. A billion goddamn doctors. Of I'm glad you got better. I was really worried that you might just fucking roll kick over it. and die. You were, you were hoping yeah. I was, I would. God, I would hate to have to move into the house and take care of Katie. And, <laughs> yeah, right. You know, yeah. I mean, spend all your money. Yeah. Uh -huh, yeah sell all, all of your memorabilia. That's where the God. money that, Well, you have to do that. Then you spend the money. Right. Because there's none before that. Right. Oh, no. He's still got some Wheel of Fortune money. Somewhere. Oh, no, he does. That's all you know gone. he does, man. I like how one guy. It's all gone. Yeah. I like how one verse was like, I like how people think that you win the equivalent of one year's salary. And now you're Seven rich. years yeah. ago, and now you're set for life. Yeah. <laughs> You so, invested all that money, and mm -hmm. those stocks are just... Oh, yeah. yeah that's dude. it. He that's invested it. it in fucking Chicago Bears merchandise. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to see a big return on Coke that. And Jordan. Yeah. That was a big yeah. return, actually. That's a big return. Yeah, that's that's a good was one. Uh, five times what I paid for it. Yeah. Now, Man. So. Um, but Wait till he dies. I ended Fuck. up... Uh, I can't. <laughs> my best friend, Brian... Uh, here in Wichita uh, has a restaurant that is fucking fantastic. It is. It's, uh, great. it's a barbecue restaurant. It is very good. He just bought uh, a bunch of new booze mm -hmm. uh, for his restaurant. He did oh, tables, cool. and now he's booths. finally went and bought booths. Booths, not booze, booths. It yeah. sounded like you said a bunch of alcohol. They don't booths, alcohol. Yeah. B O O T H E S. Okay. Booths. Booths. Yeah. booths. Yeah. So he bought a bunch of new booths, and I went, and each booth came in five pieces. And oh, I so, seen that you went and helped him. Yeah, that. so oh, that's very I cool. went and helped him put all those booze together. So, so that was my Sunday. So basically. you're just basically pumping yourself up there. No. That's a great story. You no, that that's helped what, your friend. No, that's and, what I did because here's the deal: is that guy helps me with fucking everything. He is a good dude. I've he's, only met him like three times, and it's always been playing poker and stuff. But he is. You've such never a met him playing poker. He's not yeah. a poker player. No, mm -hmm. no. But he is one of the. Where did I meet him at? Uh, he came down. He came downstairs one time yeah, when we okay. were playing poker, but he didn't stick around. He's right. probably one of the best human beings I've ever met. He's one of those people. That well, makes if he's you, helping you, he's got to be like some right. kind of saint, right? Yeah. He's one of the like he makes you want to be a better person. Like he's that good of a dude. Nice. So, and the guy is. The the guy can fucking do maybe anything. we should get him on the show instead I, of you. Actually, I actually do want to get him on the show. Yeah, because he's really funny too. Yeah, he, he is. But uh, he's got the fucking laugh. <laughs> oh yeah, he's got one of the best. <laughs> he's, he's got one of the best laughs ever. He does. But he uh, he all he's helped me with so much stuff. That's and, awesome. And man. the yeah. fact that I actually got to that's cool to help him because he never he knows how to do everything. He does. He yeah. never needs fucking help with anything because he knows what he's doing. I'm the dumbass. It's like. Uh, how do you yeah, put oh, paint on a wall? Yeah. Well, yeah. So right. he, uh, I got to Katie. actually. Poor, I poor Katie. Oh, yeah. She's fucking, she fucked up. <laughs> but I, I told her she was stupid the other day, and she got mad at me and, and said, why would I say such a thing? And then you went and, and got then, your marriage license. I, I said, what's on your finger? Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good enough. Uh, but. No, so I actually got to go help him, and it's very rare occasion that, that I get to help yeah, him. That's so cool. that made my whole fucking week. Was awesome. I got to go help him do that. Awesome. So, uh, yeah. Very That cool. was what I did. Cool. Man, that was way better than Scotty's week. Fuck mm -hmm. you. Yeah. That's because I had two assholes. I bought skis. Fuck yeah. you. Snowboard bindings. Uh, so crazy thing is, I'm you, rich, so I'm going to go snowboarding. When you put the top of the, the booth, when you put them together, they bind immediately. Like, just boom. Like, that's. <laughs> Man, yeah, yeah, dude, that's crazy. cool. Mm hmm. Cool self-binding booths. <laughs> I fucking hate you guys. <laughs> Fuck you both. 
Uh, but anyways, uh, we got a lot to get to with sports and stuff. But before you do that, uh, JP, we got to talk about our favorite sponsor. Folgers. Ma- no. Oh, no. No. We Australian were... for coffee? No, that's Foster's. Ah. Folgers is Colombian for cocaine. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> okay, that's fair. I do love cocaine. <laughs> that's <Yeah. true. laughs> I'm not shocked. A little man called Juan Valdez. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah no. That, the motherfucker was bringing over way more than coffee. <laughs> right. Yeah, sure yeah. was. Yeah. 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 Oh, but no, we got a great sponsor. They are manscaped.com. They specialize in products to help uh, keep men groomed in their downstairs. That means your Amen. butthole, ball sack, Do it and all, baby. cock. That's all, right. all the way down to the hilt. Uh, they have the great product of the Lawnmower 4.0, which has an adjustable LED light, um, which is amazing because that way, you know, you don't have to. Even shave. Derek, yeah, even Derek can see it while he's doing it. That's right. Which is yeah, awesome. Absolutely. He needs magnifying glass yeah. as well. I got, a, I got yeah. a shadow. Yeah. Is what I got. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> shadow. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, if. If I see my dick, yeah, six, I mean, more, six weeks more, more weeks of winter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's going to be yeah, a hot we're, winter. We're not wanting that. So, yeah. uh, but they specialize in those products. They have a whole bunch of other products. Uh, JP uh, talks about their ball toner. Oh, my favorite product that they have mm-hmm. is the ball toner. Now, yeah. I don't use it on my balls, but I like to put a little right under the <laughs> eyes right here and. It yep. is just magic. magic. The old Arabian goggles. Magic. And yeah. then my face smells like a, a balls. Yeah. So Great. that attracts men. Good and smelling balls, though. Good smelling balls. Yeah, right. Absolutely. And they also. That's weird. <laughs> your, your face and Scotty's breath smell identical. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> exactly. Unbelievable. It is weird. Yeah, it is uh, a little weird. I, I think you guys, guys are using the same lotion. Maybe. <laughs> uh, but they also have other products like the uh, ball deodorant, which is very important. We've got the uh, shears, uh, the manicure kit. They, they've got tons of products. They've got excellent underwear as well. The excavator. They have the excavator. No, that's still an R&D. Still an R&D. Uh, but they do have a shitload of other products, uh, like the Weed Whacker. I try to promote know, these new products. But they, they haven't released them yet, Derek. You can't spill the beans. Stop. Got it? Keep it. Shh. Hush, hush. Uh, but they do have Perkins other... Perkins is not going to be happy about this. <laughs> Perkins. Know. God damn it. But they have a whole bunch of other products that you can check out at manscaped.com. Use the promo code SIDELINES. Get 20% off your order and free shipping. That helps you out, helps us out, and lets Manscaped know that we are doing these commercials word for word. JP is their new spokesperson. Thank you. Okay, we got to get to the sports. We got a lot of stuff to get through. There's a whole bunch of stuff that uh, happened over the last week. Obviously, week 18 uh, for the uh, NFL that we want to get to. That just sounds weird. It does. I don't like it. I don't either. It really fucking sucks. Um, But... What just happened? The national championship game for college football. Oh boy! Did it though? Holy moly! I mean, I mean, Georgia was there. Yeah, it happened. <laughs> it happened to TCU. It, it right? really did. It happened to them, uh-huh. and it was not pretty. Shaquille O'Neal is going to end up eating oh. some uh, horn frog legs. Enjoy that. Um, yeah, that was bad. Uh, mm. Anybody I'm, else I, watch past the halftime? No, I actually halftime was it. That was yep. me too. I when, that uh, and then I started watching Tulsa King. I've never oh, seen that before. What? Phenomenal. That, I, I'm two so episodes good, in. It's dude. actually uh, two episodes oh, it's in. Phenomenal. I, I, I like it. Dude, can you believe how good he looks? What? Yeah, he's got a million, millions well, of dollars. That's great, to plastic dude, surgery. Oh my and god! Yeah. Tulsa Man, King. I am going to start doing steroids and having lots of plastic well, they surgery. They make you shit a lot. That's I'm fine. Tell you right now, I need to stay clean <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Yeah, right. What so, the fuck is Tulsa King? Sylvester Stallone. Okay. Uh, was, and I've only two episodes in. Okay, so But he I, is convicted. He was like a convicted felon for the mob in New York and then gets out of prison. And then they're like, all right, we're going to send you to Tulsa. Mm-hmm. And so he goes to Tulsa and just starts kind of his own mob operation. Yeah. And that's all I'm at. I'm only oh, like two man. episodes in. It I watched them both last phenomenal. night. phenomenal. What is it it's on? Pr- uh, Paramount Plus. Paramount Plus. Yep, not going to watch it. Really Why not? Because you have something against Paramount? Yeah, fuck them. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. Why? Because they're, I don't know. Uh, he, Labyrinth. He's not a big Labyrinth fan, yeah. and they, they made Labyrinth. <gasps> I don't know. That is really weird, man. Yeah. I love <laughs> so I love the Labyrinth. <laughs> okay. David Bowie and skin-tight yeah. pants. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Forget about it. Okay, Goblin. He'd like it, too. But Goblin is, King. No. Yes, please. Yeah, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, that's all we're going to talk about the national championship game because it wasn't much of a yeah, game it at all. It no. sucked. Yeah, uh, it sucked. So, yeah. <laughs> I was going to bet on it, and I'm like, I don't oh, like giving that's... up. Hang on. I was going to bet. I was going to bet Georgia, and I was like, I don't know if I like giving up 13 and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Here, give up 30. It's fine. Yeah, it's okay. 40, 50. Yeah, Go 50. ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. 
Uh, but there's wow. that there is that guy that owns the mattress store in Tulsa, mm. Oklahoma, or not Tulsa, uh, in Texas, out of Houston. He's in Houston, and he bet like Houston King. Yeah, Houston King. Houston <laughs> King. Sure shit. I, mattress uh, Mac. Like three point one million dollars he put on TCU to win that game, and it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> This is how Vegas stays in business. Somebody did that. Oh yeah, big time. Mattress Mac does that every year. Like he, he did that. Year. He won a shitload of betting on the, the well, Astros. Well, the, the yeah, Series. I mean, yeah. obviously he's won plenty, or he sells a lot of mattresses. What, well, there, there's <laughs> I an actual couldn't in, put three point one dollars down. <laughs> yeah, so what, maybe I should start selling mattresses instead of cock. Maybe what he'll do is he'll be like, if you bought a buy mattress or whatever the furniture, whatever the fuck the store is, you buy this, and we will pay your if if the Astros win the World Series. Or TCU wins national. We'll pay your furniture off. There's actually an insurance policy wow. that you can buy that will that oh, will cover man. that, and it's pretty inexpensive. So that's what he does. Okay. And then he'll, but he bets How three cool and a half. That? He bet three and a half million dollars right. on that motherfucker. Woo! Well, yeah. can you just? I would just get all the furniture I wanted, and then Hope if they, they didn't, if they didn't win, I would be like, "Nah, fuck you! I'm not paying. <laughs> hey, come get your furniture." Yeah. I mean, oh, then Eric Von Rocker is going to come pick it up. That's like, fine. That's, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Great. No problem. Yeah. Come get it, pussy. Yeah, right. I mean, <laughs> anyway, yeah. Um, but yeah, that was pretty much all of the college football because nobody gives a shit. That, about yeah, that, was, really that, that was that, that was awful. Really We're not going to spend too much time on it, uh, but we are going to move on uh, to something that Derek is extremely fucking happy about. <laughs> I just logged onto Facebook to see your memes. Oh. Uh, that's all. This that's great. This is either going to be something extremely fucking beautiful, or this is going to be a fucking plane crash into the World Trade Center. This is going to be bad wow. or really good. And what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the Houston Texans going into a Sunday uh, football game. All they got to do is lose. That's it. That's it. That's all they got to do. They've Just, been really good. They've been they, good at that all they, year. They've been good at that all year. They mm-hmm. suck. They're awful. They're mm-hmm. terrible. They're not great. And and they're no Denver. They're playing the uh, the Colts. Colts, right? Just lose the game. You get first pick. Easy That's deal. all you got to do. And they ended up fucking winning that game. Yes, they did. Thus putting them into the second worst team in the NFL. By the way, their head coach fired. I think I don't think he got <laughs> out of locker shocker. room. Yeah. I don't think so either. Their head coach, former head coach of the Chicago Bears, Lovey Smith. I want Lovey Smith to possibly make a public statement on why he was let go, even though they had an awful season. Why he didn't get out of the fucking locker rooms? Probably because he didn't lose the fucking game on purpose. Fourth and twenty. You have a ten point lead. Yeah, and blew it. And then it's fourth and twenty, <laughs> and they score, and I think they got the two point conversion they did. to they, go yeah, up by one. The two. They went for yeah. the two to and, win the yeah. game, and and they ended up winning the game. Yeah. And I was like, "You got to be fucking yep. shitting me!" Yep. Now, my ideal situation here, <laughs> okay, is the Chicago Bears trade the number one pick. <sighs> oh Jesus! You have to trade. You have to trade the number one pick to who? Houston. <laughs> Houston. So here's Houston. what you do. Here's what you do. You Brand, trade Brandon Cooks. You trade the number one, but no, you get draft picks. Okay. Brandon Cook's washed up. You do. You take True. draft picks. You take the Houston has two first rounders this year. You have the number two and you have number twelve. Mm-hmm. So you trade for both their first rounders. Okay, trade down. Now you have the number two pick. Well, the number two pick is going to be C.J. Stroud. Okay, you trade that. <laughs> you trade that because nobody wants that. You trade that to the Colts. Okay. The Colts is the number five pick because they need a fucking you quarterback. Get, you get multiple first rounders from the you end. You can end up with four first four, round yeah. picks out of that number one pick. You do that. For sure. You 100% do that. If you don't come away with at least three, I would say four. Four. Okay. Four first-round picks. You trade Houston, and then you trade Indy. Because you've already got two. And what really, Will Levis is supposed to go probably top 12 out of Kentucky. You might be able to trade back there, too. I don't know if I like going back that far. But if you can still, if you can trade back twice, and get a top five pick and still get Will Anderson. You know the you wor- the only bad thing about that whole scenario is you're still the Chicago Bears. Correct. So correct it doesn't really matter how many draft picks you get or have how fun many. with Dak Prescott. Uh, yeah, uh, I was. Getting, I'm not a Cowboys fan. I thought you were. No, he's a Patriots uh, fan. I am a Denver fan. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I, yeah, potato potato. Be quiet. Yeah. <laughs> so, How Russell Wilson treat yeah. you this year, buddy? Oh, that dude is good. <laughs> oh, that guy is good. He's he's coming into his own. Yeah. Uh, I think into next, his own asshole. Yeah. I think next year. I think next year is going to be his year. No. Oh, keep dreaming, buddy. Oh man. This is we have the, the Chicago Bears have a lot of cap money, and what should be multiple first round selections. There's no reason that they should not be competitive next year. Who? The Chicago Bears. Okay. There's no reason. They right, not be except for 
They're still They've got to do it right. They have to do it right. They have a new GM with Ryan Bowles, and if he and he fucked up on that Claypool trade, I don't like that. Uh, <laughs> but if they do it right, we should be competitive. But Maybe we'll they should just hire you. They should. I should do that. This is this is when Derek becomes Derek Alders delusional. head coach. No, I'm not delusional. He's delusional. No, I yeah. knew we were going to be the worst team in the league, and I said as soon as they traded Roquan and all those guys away that we were probably going to be drafting top three, mm-hmm. which we ended up drafting first. Yeah. Thank you. Houston, <laughs> Thank Houston, you. Texans. Thank Houston you. Texans. What a blessing. Yes. So, uh, so not only love you, Smith. You're steal how, other draft how, picks. <laughs> how, how shitty is it that I'm excited? Uh, the, the best thing about this whole thing is, though, is we're in Wichita, Kansas. The NFL draft is in Kansas City, and I'm going to the draft. I'm meeting my best friend from Illinois from high school for the draft, and I'm going to be there that entire weekend. Oh, my God. Is, is, it, uh, is it in Power and Light? I don't know where it's in Kansas it's City. It's got to be in Kansas City. It has, it has to be there, I've heard right? where it's going to be. They yeah. had the Royals Parade because that's about the only spot where they have that much room. Yeah, it'll be power and light. Yeah, for so, sure. That's the uh, only, but I'm going the yeah. fucking draft. I'm, gonna, I'm awesome. going to the draft that whole weekend. I can't wait to see you on the oh. TV. Just yeah. sad and screaming at it. It's going to be so <laughs> much gonna be fun. I'm going to be pumped. Like, huh. We're going to get so many first rounders. Oh, my <laughs> so God. I'm so excited. This is going to be ridiculous. It's going to be great. Oh, uh, but speaking of uh, Lovey Smith being fired, uh-huh. uh, you also have uh, a couple of other coaches get fired. Breaking news with uh, Cliff Kingsbury, the head coach for the uh, Arizona Cardinals, got fired. Year after his extension. Whoops. Mm-hmm. Ouch. That'd be like drafting Russell Will or trading for Russell Wilson, yeah, and pay him hundred and sixty million dollars to be your quarterback. Yeah, good going. Mistake, Broncos, and then yeah. cut him the next, and year. then cut him the next yeah. year because Ooh, if they don't cut him, <laughs> we got to do something. It, and I, you can't cut him. No, yeah, he's owed too oh, much money. You're we're fucked. Screwed. Oh, yeah. I understand. They're fucked. Hey, um, you know what? We'll give you a first round draft pick for some stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I hear, I hear you Number guys are. Overall, I hear you shopping. guys are shopping around for a draft pick. Yep, that's right. We're gonna be shopping, but apparently they can't call it Black Monday anymore. Uh, the 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 day after the regular season, everybody always calls it Black Monday, but apparently mm. that's insensitive and racist. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. I wish we weren't. Mm. I wish we weren't on TV. Right now. <laughs> uh, uh, or, yeah, but guess what? We're calling it Black Money because that's what it's always been, and we're not fucking racist, so get over it. Um, but yeah, there well, was a whole... I prefer, I'm not the racist JP at all. You, on the other hand. My best friend's fucking black, you jackass. Oh, I that's can't the be racist out because uh, my best friend's... I've had black yeah. dick in me <laughs> multiple times. Oh, that's so, it Until went you in have white. that. It went in white, but he wasn't... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's, that's dis- not true, man. I stay <laughs> ready. I stay ready. That's so fucking Don't worry gross. worry about me, buddy. Um, but no, uh, we had a whole bunch of coaches get fired. There was, there was like a defensive it, coordinator. It came out fired. looking like a fucking squirrel eating corn <laughs> cob. Squirrel. It's so gross. Ugh. Other fi- other coaches were <laughs> fired. And uh, yeah, Ugh. there's that. Uh, but now we got we have vacated spots for these coaches. Obviously, Denver's head coach definitely the, is gone. It, yeah, or the interim head coach is not going to be the head no, coach for sure. The defensive coordinator for them, I think, is going to be the one leaving because I think he was offered the head coaching position and turned it the fuck down. Well, who would want to coach that team right now? <laughs> not you're a just fucking person. You're setting help. yourself up for a failure. Well, I heard John Gruden might be coming back, and so uh, is Har- Harbaugh from uh, Michigan. I yeah. think the rumor is. Is, is that there's he getting ready to be? Anywhere. Oh yeah, he is because there's a. They're never going to let Gruden in back in the league, right? Gruden, I don't think so. But that's Harbaugh what I heard, man. Harbaugh ain't going. I heard nowhere. he was coming back. Harbaugh's not. And what? I heard that Harbaugh was coming. Harbaugh back. Harbaugh ain't going nowhere. Are I you know, fucking that's kidding? What, me? I think he is, man. I really do. No, no, no. You must not have heard then. There's getting ready to be some serious penalties dished out to Michigan, and he wants out before. He's already been visiting. What too. penalties? There's nil. Um, no, it's not that kind of stuff. It's other stuff. Uh, I haven't been confirmed on this yet, so I don't want to break. Well, tell this. us. It's I, not I, like no. a Penn State well, you gotta thing. Know. Right? No. Nobody listens to the mm. show. What's going on? Uh, uh, nah. So, uh, but he's he's taking yeah. on he's taking on interviews, and I think he's gone. I think he's leaving Michigan. No, he's not. And then the other thing is, is now you got Sean Payton in the mix as well. So Sean Payton's out there looking, and I think if it were me, if I were a betting person, I think Sean Payton. While he's a great coach, he would do better as a TV announcer, but I don't think he wants to. I think he wants to coach. You have to trade picks for Sean Payton. And the you rumor do. is is the Saints want a first-round pick for Sean Payton. Why don't you just trade uh, – because you brought it up or before we started recording, and that is why don't you trade DeAndre Hopkins to the Saints and then get Sean Payton in Arizona? They want picks. I don't yeah. give yeah. DeAndre Hopkins. I don't know. They already got a washed up receiver in Michael Thomas. They don't want DeAndre. <laughs> DeAndre Hopkins is not, not washed, washed up. up. 
Definitely not. No. He's got at least one more year in him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. <laughs> My name's JP. They call me one more year. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so there's going to be a lot of movement. We'll be uh, able to talk about it. I think uh, – I think uh, we'll figure that out later. I was going to say when we were thinking about taking our vacation. But I think probably – I don't know, Derek. What do you think? It'll probably be after the Super Bowl, I would guess. I don't fucking know. Yeah, we don't know. I'm taking mine tomorrow. Fuck you. Um, uh, next thing, um, the Raiders and the Chiefs played in uh, in Las oh, Vegas God, over the weekend. Oh, that was horrible. Oh, uh, no. Here's the thing that cracks me up more than anything. Um, the owner of the Las Vegas Raiders, who looks like Charlie Brown with a fucking horrible, horrible toupee, uh, he, apparently he's pissed off because there were more Chiefs fans. Oh, in the way more. Than oh, Vegas there were fans. way more. It wasn't even close. That's humorous to me. Here's That's the deal. So humorous. Here's the deal. It's Mark Davis is the owner of the Raiders. Yes, and, he, and, he, and, and he's pissed about that. And he was pissed because the Niners was that the Niners game was that way too. Mm-hmm. But you move to Las Vegas. Right. That is nobody's going to visit no. Oakland. But right. when you you know what I mean. But when you move to Las Vegas. People will plan their bachelor party and their trips around the favorite team that's going to be in Las Vegas. Right. So of you're going to run into that all season until you're just good. be happy that your stadium is full, no matter yeah. whose fans they are. They're all buying your team concessions. Sucks. Yeah, and they're not going to get any better because they're the Raiders. You're mm-hmm. in Vegas. Not to mention one of the most inexpensive flights in the entire United States to, of yeah, America for sure is to Vegas. To Vegas. <laughs> so hey, yeah, man. you did this. To Obviously, if, if Kansas City fans can afford to go, they're very cheap. Oh yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So. So you did it to yourself, buddy. I don't know what you're bitching about. All I know is you're selling tickets, you're selling out, and you're selling beer. More money for you. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Get a haircut already. No kidding. Um, anyways, uh, next. You wouldn't fuck him? No. I would. Are you kidding? You know how much money that guy has? I would fuck him over and over and over. I would let him shit on my chest if that's what he wanted to do. God. Uh, that's disgusting. Uh, it's also worth about a million dollars. That's right. No, it's worth way more than that. No, I'd do it for a million. Okay. <laughs> Gross. Okay. Uh, so Anybody d- out there that has a million dollars. There's another fun thing for Derek. This actually probably made his weekend as well. Uh, this may be even more important because both Derek and myself are extremely petty people, and the teams that we hate more than anything... We would rather them lose um, than then our win. team win. Yeah, for sure. And, that and is, the Packers is that team. That's that team. That was oh, the best it was awesome. Man. Oh, it was so awesome. And just watching Rodgers pout oh, on the way God. out. It that just, was it's awesome. the fucking it was great. Best. Here's the best part the Detroit Lions eliminate the Packers after they already knew. They weren't, weren't going to make the playoffs. It, right. They were like, if they're not going, we're, we're not, not going. going. Dan Campbell yeah. is... Right, we're not going, we're not they're, going, not going. they're not going. Dan Campbell all. is my fucking that G. Is awesome. He comes out of the locker room and he goes, well, if we're not going, we don't want them going. And that was the whole plan and that was their motivation. And they look good. They ended up... Uh, Aiden Hutchinson's a bad fucking man. And he's a rookie. Not Well, not anymore. Did a Lambo leap into a group of Lions fans, which I fucking loved. I didn't that's, see that. Oh, it's like rubbing it in with sandpaper, motherfucker. It is so great. Yeah. But out of everybody in the entire NFL, out of everybody in the entire NFL, I think we can all now come to an agreement or an agreement that Jamal Williams is the favorite person in the entire NFL. Oh, oh 100%. My. I didn't even know who he was until we start, until we came over tonight and you showed me some clips. Oh, I love that favorite. guy. That guy me is, too. Oh, my God. Oh, man. What and he used to play for the Packers. Crazy. That's what I was Already. just getting ready to oh, say. Yeah. And he came from Green Bay. They didn't want him, so the Lions picked him up. Oh, yeah, They're feeding, feeding him good. They're feeding him good. <laughs> yeah. They're feeding him good. Yeah. <laughs> Take it into dinner. dinners. Oh, God. Oh, that that dude. is awesome. Love that guy. And the best part about it was the entry video whenever they're going through the roster of that game, whenever it's kicking off and it goes to Jamal he says inst- when you're supposed to say your name and your college of where you played instead he said first swag kazakaze leader of the hidden village of the den and it was <laughs> fucking but great. the look on his way. face he, he didn't goes, say first swag kazakaze leader of the village of the den <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking awesome <laughs> they he had like a fucking headband yeah, on and everything so, yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. Apparently that he's dude a, rocks. He's a big anime nerd. He's an anime and Pokemon nerd. And they were talking about him warming up because I guess he had like he was warming up. I don't know if it was this game or a different game. Different game. But he had like his 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 Pokemon shit, like a, a stocking cap with ears and shit. Oh, on nice. Him. And nice. they were like, you know, the a lot Pikachu, of coaches. Pikachu, baby. Oh, he's like a lot. Of, it wasn't that one. No. But he's like a lot of coaches have come over there and be like, get that shit off your head, fucking, you know, get in the game. And they're like, nah, that's just who he is. Like yep. they're just, you know, he, they, we well, want look, him you, to. You see that a lot more in in sports, 
as far as letting them be individual and letting they them should. do. And you're right, they should. They but, should. Because here's the thing. Now, these kids have been playing football since they were three years old yeah and they haven't been they haven't been just out there playing football they've been being groomed and trained and this is the only sport they're focusing on and this is their life yeah and so you got to let the kid be who the kid is i mean he's made it this far if he's that good let him wear his well let him wear his ears so being a lions fan i i follow it very a lot closer than i i used to fuck you um actually that that quote is actually from i believe the running backs coach and um, he was talking about Jamar going out before the game. Jamal. And, did I say Jamar? Yeah, you're being oh, racist. Jamal, sorry. Weird. My bad. Jay will. Uh, anyways, he. But he, he's got a black friend. It's okay, folks. Yeah, it's off. all right. He, he was talking about him going out and doing that and wearing the Pokemon head get up and everything and just being a dork. And, and he's like, listen, if you take that away from him, you don't get the same player. And that is exactly what he's talking about. Yeah. We and he was and Dan Campbell talks about all of the coaching staff. It's like the one of the guys has dreadlocks and he's like, if I wanted you to cut your hair, I, I wouldn't have fucking wanted you. I don't want you to be anybody else other than yourself. And I think that's the most important. That's why I became a Lions fan. Dan Campbell and people like Jamal, I fucking love that's this why team. You became a Lions fan. I was a St. Louis Rams fan for the longest time when they moved to LA and I refused to root for a team in fucking California. So I didn't have a team for many years. Oh, and then I fell in love with uh, Dan Campbell. Barry Sanders is from where I'm from, Wichita, Kansas. So I have a connection and uh, fell, in, fell in love yeah. with him. Believe it or not, Perfect. Barry Sanders, he just found out was from here. <laughs> no, he just, yeah. Well, 12 weeks ago 12 weeks 12 weeks ago <laughs> i've had a couple conversations with barry and he's a very nice individual so oh, yeah, he's like you yeah. know and fucking you know jamarcus barry. williams barry you know, he's on a first name basis all of a sudden he's had conversations yeah. with him we yeah. i go out to dinner with his family uh, they come over on christmas eve no. we we you know, i'm a big st louis gifts. cardinals fan and so nelly yeah. and i we hang out so obviously you know if i'm looking to get rid of one team i'm going to yeah. detroit no yeah. i help him I mean, sir i help him service his vehicle is what i do so that's how i know well i have uh, Anyway, I serviced him. I'm sure you so. did. I'm sure Scott he did. Is he's the winner up. now. Scotty's going to show up next week with a band aid under his eye. Like, Shut the for fuck. sure. You know, I, for big, sure. Uh, you know, I'm big St. Louis Cardinals big fan. St. Louis e. I, <laughs> Nelly, and I. We, uh... yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> bunch of pricks. Anyways, uh, sounds moving, like a good time for you, buddy. Moving on to the next one. I, I do want to point. Is. I do want to point out something, uh, and that is now we have 18 weeks of the season. I'm really getting sick and tired of football announcers going, and he just broke the franchise record for this. And it's this, an extra and this. week. It's an extra week. It's an extra week. Quit doing that shit. It, it pisses me off. I know Tom Brady completed more passes, yards, bunch of bullshit than he did. Guess what? It's an extra fucking week. It's an extra game. That's it, the equivalent of when like baseball season starts and a guy hits two home runs. Yes. He's, like, he's on pace for 344 yeah. <laughs> home runs. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Come the fuck on. It drives me fucking nuts. Quit it. So I wanted to point that out because that's very, very annoying. Um, but I do uh, want to congratulate Jamal for uh, he was the uh, leader in uh, for the NFL for touchdowns this year, uh, rushing touchdowns. Jamal or Jamar? Shut the fuck up, Jamal. Jamarcus, right? Jamarcus. Jamarcus. I'm gonna punch both of you in the fucking face. So yeah, congratulations, uh, all of you people that broke records. Not really. Um, but I do want to get to uh, the playoff picture. So now we have the playoffs. They are set, and I wanted to maybe even pick the first round of what you guys think is going to happen i'll pick all the rounds since i only get nah. offered to be on the show once every four months I all know. i gotta do is just write in this champion's bracket bears <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah and you will win they got a shot man they, they a do shot. have a shot snowball, there. Snowball, there. i think they're snowball, very good snowball's mm -hmm. chance in hell um but yeah Next so year. so this this uh this weekend we've got uh jacksonville uh it's actually in jacksonville and the chargers are visiting jacksonville who do you have in that game who are you picking? I want to hear what you guys say first. Okay. Derek? Who are you picking? I'm going to take the Chargers. Well, then I'll take Jacksonville. Okay. And that's not a bad pick. <laughs> I'm also going to take why – dude, Jacksonville might be playing the best football mm -hmm. but out not. of anybody. They're not. But they are. But they're not. And they're going to kill the Chargers. Okay. It's not even going to be close. Yeah, I don't think so. No. Even, even if the Chargers are in Jacksonville, I think the Chargers end nope. up coming out. Austin Eckler. Nope. There you go. Herbert, there you go. having a good game. Pervert. Nope. Herbert. Herbert. Oh, I thought he said Pervert's going to no. have a good game. No, no. Pervert's sitting down right next to you. Uh, next one. <laughs> to my left. Uh, Baltimore at Cincinnati. No-brainer? 
No brainer. Since, it's got to be Cincy. Cincinnati. I'm going Bears this game. Okay. Yeah, there, that's where I was wondering where they were going <laughs> to. Yeah. I knew he had them in the championship, but I didn't <laughs> yeah. know where they came. I in. think they're going to switch over the AFC. Yeah, they should. And they're going to beat the shit out of Baltimore. Um, I don't blame them. So the whiskey's hit Derek. Uh, so definitely Cincinnati. Yep, definitely Cincinnati. Uh, Miami at Buffalo. <sighs> Another no no contest. That's Buffalo. It's definitely Buffalo. Yep. Uh, here we go. This one, I'm very curious to hear your guys' answers. I think Philadelphia beats the bye week. They do beat the bye week. Mm-hmm. Barely, but just barely. I wouldn't give them any points. Kansas City. Again, bare. Yeah. Barely. Yeah. And Kansas City might automatically be disqualified on their bye week if they let Jackson Holmes do any fucking TikToks. You know what? They handed those guys the fucking bye yeah, week. Yeah, they too. did. They're like, oh, here oh, you go. It Enjoy oh, it. Was so bad, man. I didn't like it either. How about that? That. Can we talk about it? The ring around the rosy play that didn't end Get up the fuck of- out of here. Wasn't there man. holding on that and they got called Fucking back? Yes, they got, they got called back. What a yeah. bunch of assholes. That's the just professional fucking football, man. Eh. Really? Is yeah. there a space for that? No. no. I agree, man. I, I, and I, I, I'm that guy that was like with the touchdown celebrations and this and that. I get some of that. And man, you're excited. You sc- but that was ridiculous. Right? I think it was great. Yeah, I oh, think it's it horrible. No, fuck the Raiders. I and would it, like it if it was any other team, but I hate Kansas City. Well, I think so. Yeah, I, I think so we much. Have an, I hate Kansas City like you hate Green Bay. Oh, well, I don't hate Green Bay near as much as Derek does, but I do dislike Kansas City fans to a certain level. Mm. But I also understand rivalries, and I know Kansas City hate the Las Vegas uh, or Oakland Raiders, and so uh, I thought it was kind of a slap in the face and fuck them. So go for it. I don't care. Uh, but next uh, game I wanted to talk about is uh, Dallas at. At Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay. All day. Are you kidding me? Derek? I think Tampa. Holy shit, we got him off of his high horse. Dallas, Dallas is so Dak bad. Looks, Dak, Dak is horrible. Like Dak will never win a Super Bowl. He's was, not good enough. He's he's the next Roma. They you, did it. You they know, got the next Roma. Uh, guess he's who, not good enough. Guess who, is, guess who is tied for leading the league in interceptions, and he was gone for like three or four weeks. Yeah. Dak Prescott. and Him and he, David Mills. He's just not good enough, man. What the if fuck? They, they should get rid of Dak and Zeke and get something for them now I agree. while they can. Pa- Pollard's but it's going to be too walk, late, though. right? I mean, I don't see why. Pay, pay Pollard, get rid of Ezekiel, and then and they get, already paid Zeke. So they, Pollard's yeah, they gone. can't. Yeah, he still got some value. Get mm. him on some play. I would want to keep Pollard. This is of what I would want I, to. I, but I said this three years ago. Whenever they were going through this bullshit, I said yeah, stop, quit paying Zeke because he's not no. it. Same thing with Dak. So, so he's said, not good enough to win it. We all said, he's just well, not. We all said the same thing except for Derek. Derek, oh, I like Dak. No, he's a. He's I do a, like Dak. I know you I do, do. But he's man, a shitty he looks quarterback. Bad. Yeah, I take Tampa Bay as well. All right, that's a sweep. Uh, and then, last but not least, you've got Seattle at San Francisco. You got, you know, you got another one too. Yeah, you got Minnesota versus. Uh, New oh, York. I, I'm sorry, I missed yeah. that one. I skipped over it. I apologize because. And I that might that. be the best game. Minnesota, of the, Minnesota. Of the bunch. Uh, let's do that. Well, let's do that one last. Let's do San Francisco, Seattle, because I think I think San, San Francisco, San Francisco is going to be. Yeah. Well, ultimately, the NFC Championship is going to be Philly and San yeah, g- uh, g- uh, gay capital of the world. Yeah. So that's why you picked them. Um, but then, yeah, we're going to end on this one. Minnesota, it's at Minnesota and against the New York Giants. Who do you got? That's a, it's a really tough call, but I really, I think the Giants squeak it out. Derek? I think Minnesota. they do. I got Minnesota. Derek's got Minnesota. I got, Justin Jefferson. I'm with you, buddy. I, I got really the Giants. do. I mean, what happens if Saquon Barkley just runs all uh, over those motherfuckers? And it could very well happen. It could very well. I mean, and Jones. Jones can do it, too. I really think they pull it out, man. I do, too. I hope they do. I kind of do, and too. I like, and I like Minnesota. I never heard you say anything about wanting somebody pull out. Never. Yeah, well, well every is. now and then. It is what it is. It depends if they have the AIDS. The thing is, is that That's Kirk true. Cousins has a lot to prove, and he never and does good in primetime games. And this is the playoffs. And I want the Giants to do well. I kind of do, too. I really do, man. I kind of do, it's too. Like the old, it's, like the, it's like back in the, like, Late 80s, early 90s, Buffalo's yeah. good. The Giants are good. I, it's I, I'm be excited. Fun. It's yeah, be fun, I'm excited. It's going to be a good playoffs. Joe Flacco won a Super Bowl, so I will not count out Kirk Cousins. <laughs> okay, fine. Trent um, Dilfer won a Super Bowl. I will not count out Kirk Cousins. <laughs> that is true. Uh, but fun fact, if all of you Cowboys fans are really upset and pissed off, just so you know, uh, Dak Prescott has thrown an interception in seven straight games. Eat it. All right. Uh, but yeah, that was the sports for this week. Man, we are moving right along. We have to go yeah, right into we're shit. Doing, we're doing great. We are doing good. Uh, we're going to move on to overrated or underrated. If you don't understand what that is, uh, you are a moron. Figure it out. 
Uh, we're going to do, yeah, we're going to do this one first. Uh, overrated or underrated? Having the entire house to yourself for several hours. <laughs> overrated. Okay. Why? And, and here's why. Uh, my wife goes out of town a lot for work. <laughs> so I have, my, I have the house to myself for several days. True. So several hours. I, get, I gotta get the fuck out of there. You I cannot sit. I have to get the fuck out of the house. Yeah. Mm, that's weird. I, I cannot. No. You've got I, no cum left after about an hour. Right. You know what I'm saying? At least. Yeah. And, least. You're, and you're full. I'm always so full. So I, I it's just. <laughs> yeah. I, I have to. Overrated. Yeah. I have to, I have to get out of the house. I cannot. So. Mm. And, and I enjoy spending time with my wife. I actually. I, I, it sounds cliche. I married my best friend. I really did. So I enjoy hanging out with her. Oh she's my, my God, favorite person to hang out with. He thinks she's his best friend. Right. She fucking she hates, hates it. Yeah, I, she she stuck. stuck. I didn't say yeah. she married her best friend. She I said not. I married my best friend. <laughs> you just said Brian was your best friend earlier. Mm -hmm. My best friend. Everybody's dude your best friend. friend. Dude friend? Your best Except boyfriend? Except Scotty. Scotty's not Right. Best Nobody likes Scotty. Scotty. You know what's fucked up? I'm calling him out on the show. If there's anybody that he calls right below Brian, it's probably me. No. Really? Oh, no, no, no. Let's see. No, I'm kidding. Don't go through that. Uh, Giant Man, my friend Jamie, he's on that <laughs> oh, list. Oh, yeah, he is on that list. Yep. I give you uh, that one. Matt, uh, JP, Stan, uh, let's see. I call bullshit Freddy, to Stan. Marshall. I call uh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you. Hang on. I'll All pull right. up my call history. No, I believe yeah. you. Anyways, uh, I'm Brian, <laughs> Bo, Tim, Tyler. Fuck you. Okay, I'm moving Brian, on. Brian. Jesus Christ. Roberts. I don't hear Scotty's name in there anymore. Let's see. Hang on. We'll get to Scotty. Uh, Lance, Stan, Jake. Hang on. We'll get to Scotty. This is really interesting podcast information. Yeah. By the way. Jared. There's a couple 1-800 numbers. Were you doing sex talk? Hey, there Let's I am. Let's see. Where are you? Right there. Oh, yeah. There you go. December 18th. <laughs> not too bad. What is that? That's pretty good. Hey, January 10th. <laughs> That's not bad. It's not All bad. right, so go ahead. Yeah, they, they, fucking point proven, Scott. Uh, I'll pull out text messages. Anyways, uh, I'm going to say this is actually underrated. Uh, I really enjoy being in the house by myself. Um, I'm one of those people that has to have alone time but for myself and not for jerking off. I just, I like being alone a lot of the time. I got a lot of stuff to do with this podcast. Well, you've probably been alone for so many years throughout your life. No, that. in fact, I have. I mean, uh, the last time I was legitimately alone a lot was whenever I was still uh, like living at my parents' house because I was an only child. So I didn't what have about it. the orphanage. Back, when was that? How, what year was that? Oh God, that would have been like, I, I was maybe 17, 18. So it's been a long time. Oh, that was the year of the great ink shortage. Yeah. I, re I remember that. Yeah. Had to, had to move out. You could yeah, not find printer ink anywhere. No, but, it was just but horrible. That's, that's actually part of the reason why the, the studio is going to take a change. Uh, uh, once once I get the time to do it, that's what the break is going to be for. But I'm actually going to turn the studio into more of like a lounge area to where I can come down and just fucking relax and get away because I need to be by myself sometimes so I can do this podcast and do the work for it. And it takes a shitload of work. But yeah, so I'm I gonna say this is underrated. I hope you said fucking relax and not fuck and relax. Yeah, fucking relax, man. Which you know, one? I'll bring, in or and? I'll bring my wife down here. You never know. All right. Well, then I am off the show. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. I won't come everywhere. I promise. Uh, how about you, JP? You're the guy that probably says you're sorry after you. Come. I say <laughs> no, never. <laughs> sorry. I say overrated. Overrated, really? You don't like being alone? No, mm. not at all. Mm. Like when when. Does rope start well, looking really attractive? Not that. Oh, no. Gotcha. No, just, I just don't like to be alone. I'm okay. a people person. I like being around people. Okay. I like enjoying other people's company. I like being able to enrich people's lives. That's what I do, Scotty. I enrich oh. people's lives. It's, this and is if true. I'm not doing that, really I don't enrich. feel good about it. You rope. really enrich my yeah. life. Rope. Play cards. rope. Yeah. Noose. Got it. Mm. Okay. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Working out. Derek, <laughs> fucking underrated. <laughs> Way That's underrated. The, oh. Oh, is what? It, what? Fuck yeah. Yes. Is it really underrated, Derek? Yeah, at one time I went from this size to 200 pounds, and I ended up getting puss and married. Yeah, yeah it's way underrated. How you doing now? I need to get back to working out. You sure do. Yeah. You going to do it? Yeah, absolutely I am. Really? Yeah, I've already lost 20 pounds. Really? Yeah, I have. You doing yoga? You can't even tell. You can't really tell. No, you can't tell. No, no. I would as I, I would guess you gained fifteen since wait. the last time I saw you. Just wait. Probably. 
I'm telling you. Are you doing DDP Yogi with Jeremy? Yogi? <laughs> yogi? <laughs> DDP Yogi, yeah. Hey. I'm like, hey, hey let's stretch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, boo boo. <laughs> Reach it for the picketing <laughs> basket. <laughs> Put the sandwich in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Yogi. Um, <laughs> but, uh, no, it's but, fucking underrated. Yeah, okay. Uh, it changed my life, and then I got fat again. Oh, That's okay. what happened. <laughs> and <laughs> fuck. <laughs> and I'm miserable that I got fat again. Okay. So yeah, right. working out is fucking underrated. Yeah, get healthy, buddy. I hope you. I hope you. Me uh, too, man. I want you yeah. to live for a long. So do I. Long. long I, that's long why time, I've been man. eating shitty. Yeah. <laughs> the the longer you live, the longer you have to do this podcast. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Jokes on you. I'm gonna go home and kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> Knew that was coming. Uh, I'm I'm gonna say it's underrated as well. Um, I might do it here. <laughs> live have, on the air. I'll have video evidence of it. Just to prove that I didn't do it. I'm going to TikTok live it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. I don't know for sure, but I think that'll get taken down pretty quick. But well, it won't get I taken did, down. I mean, somebody's going to see it. Yeah. And somebody's going to have it. That's, and somebody will send it again. That's and it's true. I'm going to be a gif. <laughs> I'm going to be a gif. What do you want for Christmas? I want to be a gif. <laughs> Uh, shit. No, I'm going to say it's underrated as well. Yeah. It's very important to go and work out. Um, I, I think it's really I underrated, out. but my workouts are things like activities. I am not going to the fucking gym. You can kiss my fucking ass. I'm out so hard. Every, I, why would you go to the gym? Everything in there is very heavy. Bullshit. I'm out. How about you, JP? I mean, I work out twice a week. Really? Yeah. Bowling. Bowling. Oh, okay. Nice. Derek knows. So yeah, underrated. How the fuck can you even could could you even qualify bowling for a workout? Look, man, go bowling and watch hold out on, your hold arm on. feels, dude. One let's, arm. Let's go bowling. No, dude, dude, listen to me. Just try me. Do you know the Happy Gilmore? I want quote? you to bowl. I want bowling you to bowl. Requires Look, goofy pants and a fat. That's what ass. you think. I want you to bowl four games. No, and then I, in two days after that, I no. want you to bowl four more and then get out of bed. No, I'm good. No, right. You wouldn't be able to. I don't want to. Because you're not cool. No, because... Scotty, I'm trying to help you. Bowlers suck. Yeah, this one does. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, very good. Yeah. Speaking of next one, uh, overrated or underrated, hot dogs. <laughs> I can eat one without even biting. I just... <laughs> It's awesome. So I have to go. I have to go way underrated on this one. I'm sure you do. JP yeah. prefers the scientific term glizzy. <laughs> glizzy, glizzy. Yeah. And if you eat it, if you use your hands, you're not eating it right. <laughs> JP actually eats his hot dogs with both hands. <laughs> <laughs> Behind my back. <laughs> Tied together. So, quick question. Hey, uh, Joey Chestnut, eat this motherfucker. <laughs> eat this motherfucker. Uh, you were brought up last on last week's episode, and we and and uh, we, we we talk about you from time to time. I don't doubt so it. My question is: um, Do you try to brush your esophagus when you brush your teeth? It's. Do I try to, or does it just happen? <laughs> Because, yeah, it just kind of happens. Derek said it's you not did. that I try. Uh, it just kind of. Okay. It's just normal. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hot dogs are way underrated. But oh, there, is a, sure. there is a different thing, though. If you get the hot dogs at the grocery store, those are overrated. But if you get a hot dog at a baseball game. Oh, the best hot dogs. Money. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go with underrated. How about you, Derek? 100%. Same, with the same thing you said. However, I would say if you get them at the grocery store, I'm going to. I was a single guy for a long time. That is a 50 cent dinner. That is yeah. true. <laughs> you can't they're, but go they're wrong. Hot dogs are very cheap at the grocery store, but very fucking expensive. Like at the ballpark. So I have, have the $9 I went to, six yeah. inch. Please. No, I went to dog and shake for the first time in like years. Oh, Why? Oh. Dude, it was awesome. Yeah, it was it's so banger. Dude, it was so horribly nasty that it was fucking so good. So, I haven't had just a dirty, greasy chili cheese dog with relish and mustard. And, and Sonic is oh, right down the street. Yeah, and Sonic fuck them. sucks. Uh, barf and yeah. barf. I uh, the Sonic down the there. street, they were pissing in people's drinks and food and shit awesome. in people's food. I wondered what? why that, that Sonic. Tasted. Yeah, that Sonic. The one right there. The one that's, the, that they just redid. Yeah. They were shitting in people's food. They got arrested. Two people. Nice. At that exact Sonic. Are they hiring? 
Yeah, they are. <laughs> I would fucking they love are. to do that. Yeah. No, uh, but seriously, if you're not from the Wichita area, seriously, Google Dog and Shake. It looks Arf like and barf. The, oh, it looks like the so most good. It man. looks kind of. But it was like seventeen dollars for two chili cheese dogs yeah. and a Dr Pepper <laughs> and a small fry. But it's still uh, fucking but, amazing. Oh, I want to go right now. Yeah, Dog and Shake in Wichita, Kansas. It's mm. uh, it's mm. oh, it's mm. comfort. You comfort know, I had food. I had the motherfucker from Wendy's gaslight me yesterday. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, I went to the drive through. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna eat Wendy's because I fucking I didn't have I go and buy lunch meat for work, and I all eat that for a week, so it's like eight bucks, and I can yeah. just eat lunch meat. Yeah. But I was like, well, fuck, I, I eat them in a in a tortilla wrap. I don't eat them on bread. Okay. Good. So uh, I didn't have tortillas at work, so I'm like, well, I'm just gonna go get fucking Wendy's. So I go through order and I order Wendy's, and I'm like, and, and a four piece nugget, and the guy at the drive thru goes. Oh, come on. You want a six piece. Oh, he didn't know you that well. Otherwise, <laughs> I, he'd have said 20. And I was like, <laughs> I was just like, all right, fuck it. Make it six, six piece. piece. God yeah, damn that, was, that was easy. That, that was, was easy. easy. You uh, sly motherfucker. And then that that when he pulled shit. up to the window, he's like, six piece. Motherfucker, you need at yeah. least a 20. Mm-hmm. They just yeah, start bringing weird. scoops of nuggets and toss yeah. them into like, the car. I'm yeah. going to hook you up, they're, dude. <laughs> they're like fucking uh, hibachi steakhouse. Just like, yeah. Nugget, catch. All right. Uh, next one, overrated or underrated? Tasers. Oh, way underrated. Fuck yeah. There's nothing better than watching a motherfucker. Yeah, man, tasers. dude, during New Year's Eve. Um, <laughs> what kind of shit are you into? Bro? Right. Three, oh, yeah. two, <laughs> one. <laughs> so, <laughs> I always go to a good friend of mine, so we have a big poker game. Um, it's a blast. It's, it's really, fuck? it's the day I look forward to the most, New Year's Eve. I love it. I get to see people that we don't see most of the year and we yeah. just see them and there was a guy that had one of the flashlight like, knuckle oh, flashlight yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. and there was this crazy old son of a bitch that that i mean he wanted to be tased he was like i'll do it tase me and they tased i mean they had to do tased him 10 times i've got a video no I'll show shit. It to you. oh the dude's nuts awesome yeah, it was so very underrated it was very entertaining so i'm gonna also 100% go underrated. Um, there is nothing better than cops chasing somebody who's shit faced drunk running away, and then all of a sudden they yell, Taser, Taser, Taser. They don't stop, they shoot them, and they just go just drop. They just get starched, just yeah, bam, hit awesome. the ground, and they just sit there on the ground. And uh, <laughs> I have something really mean to say Fucking right awesome. there, and what? I just can't do it. Starched? Nope. What? Yeah, when you said they just like, nah, no, nah, never <laughs> Okay. I don't uh, want the hate mail. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but yeah, underrated as hell. Tasers are fucking awesome. Look like Damar Hamlin. Just Oh, <laughs> oh damn. Yeah, oh, that was is, too soon? No. Dahmer Hamlin. Yeah, too soon? Dahmer. No, no. Okay, good. There is a rule. And in, in comedy, there, it is <laughs> never too soon. Yeah, you got to explain uh, comedy. DJ. Never. That's true. So, yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, last one, overrated or underrated, nude beaches. Way overrated. Because you're all expected For to see. For you. You're all expected like, to see, like, fucking titties, and then you see a bunch of dude like me's titties. Right. You see <laughs> like, titties, what but, it is. yeah. It's ours. They're like, all right. Damn it. <laughs> it's a yeah. bunch of guys like me that all had the same idea. <laughs> And then, like, one 62-year-old woman. <laughs> like, that's I it. agree. I say way overrated. Yeah. What? 20, like, 30 years ago when I was in shape and I would look good naked, oh, definitely underrated. But now, I wouldn't wish that upon anybody for me to come walking up onto a beach totally nude. I mean, Plus, I, man, bro, I no. sunburns. You and your nine-inch dick? Well, I mean, yes, great. I have a giant penis. Thank Jeez. God. It's really the only thing I've got going for me. But even that fades. You know shade. what I mean? Yeah. Shade. <laughs> shade. I, yeah. I a ball sacks and umbrella. I sunburn so easy. You're right. And the one part of my body that never gets sun is, is all of a yeah. sudden going to be bacon. <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah, it looked like a giant piece of beef oh jerky. Oh, my yeah. God. Giant piece? You're giving me too much credit. <laughs> no, mine. It's like, <laughs> yours would look like a little yeah. smoky. It's like an oversized <laughs> clit. I uh, would be like if you cut off a piece of a Slim Jim for someone to try. Yeah. I don't want the whole Slim Jim. Just, just shave me a piece. It's shave like, me a piece off. <laughs> yeah. It's like a female weightlifter's clit. The steroids got it to oh, stick out just enough. Just enough. No. Yeah. Moving on. No. On, on uh, that. On that. I got a question. So while while we're on this particular topic, uh, apparently there is like a, a something that's going around that like girls are requesting dick pics now. Like, oh yeah, 
girls are to, to rate them? Have you heard about this? This is a thing. I've been doing this for years. I know, but okay, fine. Uh, but I just, no, it, this there's there's websites dedicated to it. Have been for years. Had no idea. Oh, no yeah. idea. Heard about it, and and I'm Did like, you send what yours the in? F- Disappointing, wasn't it? No, I got a, <laughs> I got a nine out of ten. Fuck yeah. Oh my god. No, but I was thinking about it. Was his own website. To, yeah, it yeah. Was, he sent it to his wife. He's like, That's I can't get. He's way. like, I can't get myself a ten. Ten. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I rated myself, myself a nine. Exactly. Yeah. That's what it should be, and uh, I'm good with that. No, but I I was thinking about this. Would it be weird? That's his Uber profile picture. <laughs> Again. Would it be weird if women started sending you pictures of their pussy to have you rate them? Uh, I know some really hot chicks, but their pussy looks like a fucking like beef and cheddar from Arby's. I assume all pussy looks like that. Well, of course. And yeah, but hard I, pass. Nobody wants to see that. Oh, oh. No, and yeah, it, it's no. like such a letdown, like especially when they're hot and then they've got like cash and prizes that look like a wadded up bunch of ones from a, a strip like club. Bob Barker. Oh, God. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Skin being pulled from the yeah. underworld. Just, no, that's not good, man. Boo. Yeah, so uh, I just, yeah. yeah, I wanted to bring that up. Okay. Uh, anyways, I'm going to also say uh, this is way overrated. Nude beaches are way overrated. Again, if you are... You're going to go to a nude beach. There's about a 90% chance that it's going to be all dudes. Chicks don't want to get naked all of the fucking time in front of other dudes. I don't think you're making the point you think you're making. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> Overrated. I don't want to go. No. <laughs> I'm out. Uh, so, yeah, I'll stay home and uh, go on to a beach that uh, you're supposed to wear uh, swim trunks. Very well. Anyways. All right. So that was overrated, underrated. Now we get to move on to Google this. These are actual things that people have Googled, and they're absolutely ridiculous. And we are going to answer them as if we are Googling the most, uh, I don't know, crazy way so first one uh do inflatable dolls count as passengers in the high occupancy vehicle lane only if they're on your lap (laughs) (laughs) yes i think they do i I, especially if they're a high quality blow up doll i think Mm. that they definitely have none of this vinyl shit no it has a soul it Mm. actually has a soul and and i think that's very important don't let vicky hear you say you (laughs) know they have a soul and so i'm just saying Yes, you have to count well, them. I think Vicky is possessed by some of these kids you're murdering down here in the basement. <laughs> so they, she has lots of souls. She's taking I mean, ra- she's taking great care she of them. Is, down she here. is anal bell. That's right. <laughs> like that That's is. absolutely right. That's their toy they get to play with. Is Vicky? <laughs> How about you, Derek? Uh, uh, do they count as pet? No, but they are, only if they're driving. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you let them drive, then then it's count. totally okay. it's legit. I, I think it's legit. I stand correct. If you have a Tesla, mm-hmm. you could do that. You yeah, totally one hundred percent. You don't even have. You can have a fucking Ford Fiesta and they can drive. I mean, that's true, but you yeah. may have a better chance than a Tesla. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> not much, but a little. I it's mean, little, yeah. they're they're more of a curtain airbag than a driver <laughs> than a driver. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, <laughs> try to do that. Just, that's why I put her on my lap. Just put a. That would be fucking hilarious. Just strap a fucking blow up doll inflated to your steering wheel yeah oh yeah just put, put you know what my airbags are out i got uh, gotta, if i'm gonna go this is how i want to do it safety first <laughs> yeah that's all i had yeah it's, it's all i could come up with yeah whiplash into a fucking pair of inflatable tits 38.99 she was just as surprised by the accident as i was <laughs> Airbags, they shoot that powder out whenever you think. <laughs> yeah. oh, and it did, smells awful. You know, it, basically, it's the same, but liquid form. Yeah, yeah, if you haven't cleaned it in a while. Right. <laughs> right. Oh, that's gross. I lick mine clean every time. <laughs> All right. Google this. Can a cow cure, or sorry, can a cow saliva cure baldness? Worked wonders on my bush. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it licked and licked and licked, and the next thing I knew, two days later, I had to pay break out the manscape. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Uh, uh, no, no. Cow saliva will not uh, fix you from being bald. That is hereditary, and there are pills that you could buy that don't sh- do shit either. So, no, this is uh, not a thing. How about you, Derek? Fuck, I don't know. Uh, I don't live on a goddamn farm. You don't? We live in Kansas, man. I know. Believe it or not, not all farms here. There's uh, really not a lot no. in our city. <laughs> no. You know whose saliva can cure, cure baldness? Who? Jamal's. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jamal. Jamal Williams saliva. Jamal Williams yeah. saliva. 100% can cure baldness. will cure baldness. That's he, awesome. He cures uh-huh. a lot of shit. Leader of the den. That, <laughs> leader of the den. Leader of the hidden den. That's right. Uh, next one. Google this. Why do men fart so much? Because we're full of shit. That's true. I can only speak for myself. It's because the air gets pushed up there. <laughs> and then it has to go somewhere. It's burp or fart. You know what I mean? Is that a meef? 
<laughs> yep. That's exactly what that is. A meef. A meef. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I meef all the time. I'm always yeah. meefing. I don't know if that's a male queef or a meat queef. A Both. Meef. Yeah. Sometimes you meef while you're getting fucked, and that is just, they call that a mess. Yeah. A, fu- a, a goddamn mess. A goddamn mess. Yeah. Don't meef when you're not supposed to meef. Yeah. I just threw up in my mouth. You, you meefed when you, you should have murfed. You meefed when you should have murfed. Yeah. Damn it. Oh. Mm. This segment brought to you by the letter M. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, yeah, I did. I really threw up in my mouth. That's disgusting. I've done worse things in my <laughs> mouth. Yeah. Oh, no, I, I think that men fart so much because I think women and men fart the equal amount of times. It's just that we don't care around women, but women hold it in. That is dangerous. And then when they that is not healthy. When they do fart, it smells like oh, death. Oh. It so smells gross. so. When I fart, it smells like petunias. Bad. It smells like latex. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, that I get too. it. Um, but latex. I don't use condoms. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like. Cum. Are you kidding me? That's disgusting. It smells like ball toner. <laughs> yeah, yeah it does. <laughs> that's what it yeah, is. Yeah, it does. Ball deodorant. Mm-hmm. Uh, but no, I really do think that men fart the same as girls. Just girls, whenever they let one go, it's like ten seconds long, and it'll fucking evacuate an airport. I mean, it's not good. So yeah, uh, Derek. I already said the meef thing. Oh, that's right. Already, come oh, on. My Where bad. were you? I'm sorry. Jeez. Uh, anyways, uh, next one. Google this. Why can't I get laid? I feel like if either one of you Googled that, it would just take you to the Amazon section of like full length mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> I think mine would take me to the funhouse mirror. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That'll make you at least skinny in the middle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Skinny in the middle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But he got much back. That does. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Um. I think if you Google that, uh, it's going to take you to the Laughing on the Sidelines website. <laughs> <laughs> Check them out. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, shit. There's a lot of things. There's a lot of things why why I, I don't get laid, and it's uh, it's things like, hey, you want to see my fantasy football championship belt? Stuff like that. My my cha- my belts that I have. That's, you, uh, well, that well, you don't get away. Little, yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot it to say that one week. Uh, wah, that, wah, the whole the whole thing about what I decided to do for fantasy football it backfired. My stepdad ended up uh, beating me by less than a point. Half a yeah. point, something like that. About a half point, maybe just under half point. There's an asterisk over there. Uh, uh, there's yeah. not really an asterisk. Uh, really I, you know what? I I always cool. loved that when your stepdad beats you. Uh, <laughs> I, that was my. I encourage it. That's why I'm friends with him. I'm like, did you beat the shit out of him yeah. when he was little? And he's like, yeah, cigarettes and all, baby. I'm like, all right, that's right. We should hang out. Uh, he even actually, when I texted him and 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 did this whole, I, I wished him happy birthday because his birthday was just yeah, recent. Yeah. And so I texted him. I said, "Hey, happy birthday to the legend, the great Galvini," because mm-hmm. that's your stepdad's name. Mm-hmm. And he uh, he said, "Hey, thanks so your much." Your stepdad's name is the great Galvini. Yeah, yes. we call him. Yes. And uh, so he goes, "Hey, thanks so much." By the way, uh, sorry for introducing you to Scotty. And I, <laughs> and I responded, "Me too." <laughs> me too. <laughs> Hashtag. He's hashtag not trying to be too. funny. This legitimately. Oh, happened. I believe yeah, it. I'll show you the. <laughs> yeah, oh, I believe it's, it. It's yeah. real. I believe it. And he is in my phone as a great Galvini. He is. That's awesome. <laughs> How about you, uh, JP? Uh, why can't I get laid? Or why can't you get laid? <laughs> I don't have any problems. Okay. Uh, are you sure? I can. Yeah. A gay guy. Are you kidding? Men are whores. <laughs> they fucking yeah. are. All you need is a butthole or a giant <laughs> penis, and I have one of each. <laughs> Actually, you have a penis and a giant butthole. Butt 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 <laughs> yeah. Either, either way, <laughs> you guys see it's a, fun, a win. You guys want to see uh-huh. a magic trick with a watermelon? <laughs> um, anyways. <laughs> Ping pong balls. <laughs> 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 oh, that's gross. Okay. <laughs> Uh, last one. Yeah, yeah, I didn't get to answer that. Oh, yeah, I thought you did. I yeah, thought you I think you did. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah the mirror did, did thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, last one. Google this. How should I compliment a guy that I like? Nice tits. <laughs> <laughs> nice tits. <laughs> For sure. Uh-huh. Like that guy that starts singing on TikTok to the windows, you know, to I, the wall. I think you should compliment his balls. <laughs> For sure, people, a lot chicks, of people don't know that. They yeah. A lot of balls. chicks do. Yep, yeah, they chicks dig balls. Dig balls. Yeah. Roll them like dice. Yep. Yeah, that's, I, that's how you compliment. Um, 
Shit, how do you compliment a guy? I mean, like... His balls. You compliment his balls. Yeah, you say, hey, I like what you got going on down there. It looks like there's good elasticity in the old sack. And I got to admit, there's one thing about TikTok and those fucking thirst traps. They'll get you every fucking time. They always have, like, like I want a guy that's over 35 with a dad bod. And it's all, it's just always a smoking hot no, you don't. No, they you do. You fucking don't. But he has to have lots of money, too. That's the That's key. That's the key. I love a guy over 35. Because with they a are bod. usually the ones that have the money. That has millions of dollars. All right. For sure. Get fucked. Uh, but yeah, that's how you that's how you compliment them. Dad yeah, bod yeah. means yeah. they want those white new balances that come with an 800 yeah, credit score. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, they do. Exactly yeah. right. And once those nuts on her face. Uh, how about you, uh, Jim? Those or, uh, Derek? Wonderful nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Did you answer already, Derek? No. Uh, or, or, or JP? No. Okay. How do I compliment a guy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> uh, Derek was talking about that last show. All right. That was Google This. Had a lot of fun with that one. Now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Yeah. Questions. If you guys have any suggestions for any of these, you can send them to at laughing on the sidelines on our Instagram, uh, share and follow those too. Uh, just in case TikTok gets canceled. Uh, we'd like to bring all of you with us. Um, first question. What's a weird thing for a bodybuilder to yell as they are doing squats? Oh my god. I say we cut the show right now. I don't even want to do this anymore, yeah. man. That, that was, was pretty good. I thought well, I thought it was all right. Uh, How well, about you, JP? Oh, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I don't even I don't have any Hey, it's weird. Here. He's supposed to be like oh, this big. That huh? was horrible. Oh my god. I that was horrible enough for the people, but in my earphones. Oh, uh, my headphones, that was bad. Yeah, that was me getting you back for putting on your headphones oh. and surrounding the microphone and making that awful noise before we started recording. My bad. I apologize. How about you, JP? What are we what are we asking? What's a weird what thing weird? for a bodybuilder to yell as they do squats? Daddy. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, weird for you guys. I'm used to it. Yeah, uh, that's true. How about you, uh, uh, Derek? Dumbledore! <laughs> <laughs> He's a huge Harry Potter fan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus. By some guy doing it's not it. not weird. Yeah, it's not. Dumbledore! <laughs> Hermione! <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I didn't say Hermione. I know. It's a Dumbledore. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's see. Next one. Things that a person from the Victorian era would be shocked to see today. Shaved pussy. That ain't, that's a good one. That's number le- one. That's legit. I don't show think so. me say shaved pussy. <laughs> <laughs> number <laughs> one answer. That's the number one they answer. Had I'll those. play. They had those. Oh, they did. Yes, uh, they oh. just covered them up with merkins. Oh, that's if true. you had pubic lice, you had fucking. You had merkins. to shave it. Yeah, uh-huh. pubic lice, fucking pubic yeah. lice. They ruin everything. The, uh, there's do. always the merkin loophole, JP. The, that's when the merkin, old merkin <laughs> loophole. The old I didn't merkin think loop- about yeah. the merkins. That's when you're merkins such a were downer, invented. man. I yeah. had such a great answer, and you had to shit all over that's it, yeah. man. Yeah, I meefed all over that. I like it better whenever. I like it better whenever you're gone. I meefed all over that one. It happens. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It happens. You can't always control your meef. This episode will be called something to do with meefing. <laughs> uh, you, you meef and JP. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with, let's see, uh, things that a person from the Victorian era would be shocked to see today. Uh, dudes with tits. Well, that too. Uh, yeah. That, that was a thing. Yeah. 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 Got it. Or girls with dicks yeah that i well maybe not no. don't you think that guys dressed like in drag in oh, the yeah. victorian oh, yeah. area for sure actually yeah. i think that's where it all started uh, actually um back in shakespeare's day oh, all yeah. parts oh, of right. plays were played right. by men so they, they were so much better back right. then romeo and juliet was played mm-hmm. by a bunch of dudes yep. originally yep. so that's have okay. classic got you. It's, it's totally it's jp's favorite uh how about uh who, who had an answer i have an answer. oh go for it Derek. Uh, things. What was it? Things that a person. Things that a person from the Victorian era would be shocked to see today. Snowboard bindings. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with a woman with an opinion. Oh, oh hi. <laughs> yeah, went with that Oy. one. I went there. There's a lot of truth on this show. One hundred percent. Stupid uh, women. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I, I don't want to get political. Joe Mackey. Uh, you know who Joe Mackey is. Yeah, comedian, Mr. Mackey. He's, he's fucking. He's fucking brilliant. Dude, he and is brilliant. Back man. when, uh, back when Obama was president, uh, Joe Joe Mackey had a joke where he was like, "I always like it when people say, 
what would our forefathers say about that? What do you think our forefathers would say? And he's like, I think they would say, who is that in the White House? <laughs> is that Thomas Jefferson's kid? <laughs> Which is a fucking brilliant joke. Uh, he's so funny. Okay. That was a great impression, too. Yeah. Uh, next one. You should have heard my JP impression last week. Oh, I bet it was good. It's pretty good. It actually, actually was pretty good. It actually was pretty Balls good. Balls on. Yeah. yeah. Balls on accurate. Uh, next question. What phrase instantly makes a wet vagina dry up like the Sahara Desert? Welcome back to another episode of Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. My name is Scotty German, <laughs> a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick. And alongside me, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, the 1984 Ski- Sedgwick County Ski-Ball Defensive Player of the Year. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, let's see. What phrase instantly makes a wet vagina dry up like the Sahara Desert? Hi, what? I'm Derek Alders. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's 100% correct. Um, Want to see my collectible action figures? That's mine. You've got three. Right Chicks there. are into those I kind of things get now. no pussy, Derek. God, I've got a bunch. There's two right here. Jesus. Two pussies or action? Well, there's two pussies. <laughs> yeah, there's two yeah. right there, but there's yeah, two he, action I, figures. He could have totally knocked that down. I, I didn't let him did, get to no. it. Yeah. Real cool, man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm sure there's a whole bunch of other something, but uh, Andrew Tate. Uh, all right. Uh, next one. It's the new reality hit series about crime in Kansas. Blank. Go ahead. Go. A new reality show about crimes in Kansas. Yeah. yeah. Wheat thieves. <laughs> <laughs> wheat thieves. Yeah. What else are you gonna steal? Just a dude breaking onto a fucking just farm fucking and just cutting wheat. Fucking no. in his combine. Yeah. Just fucking just bales of bales hay. Fucking wheat. Absolutely. Wheat. Yeah. Not hay. Wheat. Uh, yep. Mm. Uh, no, actually, the new crime crime series, reality crime series about uh, Kansas crime. It actually be, would be called Midwest Meth. Well, that's yeah. true too. Lots of meth going around here in the Lots. Midwest. Lots. Mm. How about you, Derek? Uh, Wheat Street Mafia. Fuck yeah. I like it. I love it. That's a great one. That's great. Okay. And last but certainly not least, what's a bumper sticker a Karen would put on her car? Lemonade stands need permits. 100%. Baby on board. (laughs) Okay. How about you, Derek? Oh, gosh. Uh, There's a whole bunch of them. I'm going to go with uh, your manager's my bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can I speak to the manager? Yeah. Uh, don't you are not allowed to film me under any circumstances. How about one of those? If you're reading this, you're you're too, too close. close. Oh, yeah. That's another yeah. good one. Oh, I hate that. I was sticker. I was behind a, a van a couple days ago. It was a minivan. It was probably like a 2013 Dodge journey or some shit. Yeah. Not journey, but a caravan or some shit. And uh, in the back window, it made me giggle my ass off because they had a giant fucking like sticker of what the top of a stick shift looks like, where it's like first, second, third, fourth, mm-hmm. fifth, reverse. And it was like millennial anti theft device that equipped. Ain't... And I'm like, oh, Lord. not in that goddamn Dodge Grand no. Caravan. It's not, yeah. you dumb bastard. Well, that's funny. I don't think they made that in a manual. No, they definitely did not. Yeah. And it wouldn't be for millennials. It no, would be it'd Gen be for Zs. Gen Zs. Yeah, the, for the sure. millennials could. That was how I I'm learned. Technically a millennial. Same. Barely. Barely. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so it's not millennials. It, it would be Gen Zers. So, uh, yeah, fuck mm. off. Uh, but anyways, uh, did everybody answer that one? Yeah, we have. Yep. Okay, perfect. Now we get to move on. Um, that was uh, questions and preguntas. You can send us your suggestions for this. We haven't had them in quite a while. So, And by that, I mean we haven't had any good ones in quite a while. Uh, you can send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram. Uh, send them to us. We'll uh, take a peek at them, and if we like them, we'll put you on, uh, put it on the show and give you a shout-out. Or on Facebook or TikTok. Or Facebook. Or I guess Derek's going to start. Ju- not just Instagram. I know, but Instagram is, you know, where we're going. Is that where you're responding to on the gram? The I try. Gram? Yeah, I try. Okay. I, that's where I see now scotty's on the gram jp i'm on the gram yeah now we get to move on to the news the newest segment called what's in the box and today it is actually a uh, a bag what's in the bag what's, what's in the bag what's, <laughs> what's in the sack <laughs> sort of things my bag baby that's right uh but anyways yes if you uh would like to send something to the show you can go to our TikTok, Instagram, or any of our bios. Click on the bio, and it has our P.O. Box address to where you can send us packages that we will open on the show and give you a shout-out. Now, 
this week. If you're going to send me anything, just make it pictures of your package. Um, sh- yeah, but don't do that. We'll um, actually just give you JP's phone number. Yeah, cool. actually, you know what? We'll send it to. You can give it to Scotty. <laughs> Scotty's yeah. phone number. No, nope, no. Nope. I had a knife. Four not, three two. I will fucking kill you both. Um, Seven four. I. But here's not. A, you're not going to kill me until I get on TikTok Live. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Uh, but I'm, this. I'm going to kill myself. Yeah. You can't kill me. I'll so fucking th- show you. This is actually a two parter. This okay. this week's uh, what's in the box uh, or what's in the sack. Um, I opened a box uh, two weeks ago when it was just me and Jeremy, and I didn't realize that there were actually two parts to said gift box. So what was the first thing you opened? They were individually bagged. It was a it was a well, it was a bag of candy dicks um, that they uh, sent me, and it had nice. money on it, and I had no idea. But the person, I didn't see that. yeah, I know. I'm surprised I wasn't offered any yet. The person that sent me that very package. Uh, reached out to me and said, hey, there's actually a second part to where I had to communicate, take pictures of which back, because we have so many people right. sending us shit. And it it says, uh, laughing on the sidelines, Scooter. So uh, that is what this person, and now I know who this is. Uh, and uh, her name is Desiree. And uh, she Thank sent, you, Desiree, yeah, for the dicks. You. Yeah. And, <laughs> and whatever's in this bag. There's I can already <laughs> see the corner. <laughs> you can it. see it. Yeah. It's <laughs> leaking out. That's... It's a oh, oh it's, you might it, as well rip uh, it open. No, I'm not. I'm yeah, not. Rip it open, I, I now know what it is. Oh, this is gonna be just open it. No. Man. <laughs> just <laughs> open it. No, because it's not like, the first time he's had a dick <laughs> on his face. I got a glitter dick oh, on my face. Shit, yes. Oh, I don't. I don't want to. Oh, okay. All right. Tear hard. No, I don't want to because they're getting. They're gonna get everywhere. I can see them. Damn you, Desiree, you little shit. What is there? Oh, oh, what okay. Actually, oh, there's more. I, I was thinking it was going to be glitter everywhere, oh, and it's it is. It's gummy gonna, penises. It's going to make yeah. Nice. It's gummy penises. Nice. Oh, Not as good as the real thing. It's a <laughs> it's a bag of there's more shit in there. What no, no, there? don't you dare dump this motherfucker I'm not. out. There's more shit. Well, ah, you <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. Fuck you, Derek. <laughs> I've never been more attracted to you. Oh, that's fantastic. I got a bunch of glitter dicks on my face. Nice. You've got lunch? Yeah, I do. For minutes. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Eat your heart out, Joey Chestnut. Uh, Watch this shit. <laughs> So two bags of dicks. I that did. Is, I got, what's I got, better than one bag of dicks? Yeah. Two. Two. That's right. That hey, is awesome. Thank you so much, Desiree. That is awesome. <laughs> you cunt for sending me glitter dicks. Now I got to pick the... Actually, you know what? No. Now my wife gets to clean this up. So I'm my it. wife. My wife. So anyway. Uh, quit it. You fucking, <laughs> do I still have it on my face? No, okay. no, no. Uh, all right. Thank God. I wouldn't tell you if you did. Uh, uh, yeah, sure you wouldn't. Uh, but anyways, uh, here you go, JP. You can have a bag of dicks for over there. You like that Thanks, kind of thing. Man. I all love right. bags of dicks. Yep. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that is uh, what's in the box for this man, week. Man, I definitely got on the right show. You sure yeah. did. See, this is what happens when you go to a nude beach. This red one here. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I don't chew. I just put it in my mouth and suck on it till it disappears. That's okay. Yeah, if you get put aloe vera in your mouth, and you would help that sunburn. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is uh, gummy dicks, which is ironically the best kind of blowjob in the box. Uh, now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is our laughing on the sidelines draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's draft. Um, Jeremy won. Duh. Yeah. Uh, Derek almost beat him. With his own moments. With his own moments. <laughs> I do have to address one that we all forgot. The poop story. Oh, man. That's one of the be- Great a story. A poop. A poop a story. Poop. That's one of the best ones. Um, and you can find it on our uh, YouTube channel if you want to watch, uh, see the whole thing. Uh, but this week's draft, uh, JP is our guest. So he gets to do the first pick. I uh, got uh, dead last, so I get second. And Derek took second, so technically he gets the championship picks. That's right. I'm the champ. That's Basically, I'm going to be like LeBron James here. I'm going to bitch about some stuff, and then, but here we go. <laughs> oh, my God. Holy shit. <laughs> he got a dick in his glass. He <laughs> did. <laughs> That's what you get. 
I said he could make a mess. Now you got whiskey dick. <laughs> now you do, and you yeah, got it in your head. It's never good to have whiskey all dick. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> I gotta... feel, all of a sudden, I feel ho- at home. <laughs> that you got, got dick in your hair? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Jesus. Uh, it reminds uh, you of your childhood. <laughs> oh, it does. God. Uncle or, or, uncle or brother? <laughs> Funkle. I mean, Funkle. 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 Funkle? Yeah. Yeah. The fun uncle. The fun uncle. Yeah. Funkle me. <laughs> That's all it took. He meefed at me one time. That's all it took. Uh, <laughs> Meef and <laughs> it was love at first meef. <laughs> That's so bad. Okay, where's the meef? <laughs> Arby's. Get we got, got the, the meef. meef. <laughs> there you go. Oh shit! Uh, uh, this week's draft, I think, is going to be a fun one. Hopefully, it doesn't get taken down off of Facebook. Um, but this is going to be the weirdest places to see a midget slash little person. Yeah. Uh, JP gets first pick. I get the sandwich picks, and Derek gets the championship picks. So the worst uh, or the weirdest places to see a little person. JP, you get the first pick. The DMV. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because everybody knows they can't drive. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> oh, that's fucking great. Oh shit! I'm going to say big and tall. Big and tall store. Yep, big and tall store. That's Hit that uh, little rim shot thing. Yep. There you go. There you go. Thank you, buddy. And Derek, you get two in a row. Uh, I'm going to go the basketball court. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's not that yep. bad. Brad Williams is an excellent uh, basketball uh, I player. Bet, I bet he's a little Iverson. Man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Prince was really small, and he was really good at basketball. Yeah, yeah. All right. I didn't even know he's that small. Is he like the oh, uh, oh, the, bitty. oh the Dr Pepper guy? Prince. Yeah, Dr Pepper guy. Prince. Dr Pepper uh, Prince. Yeah. I don't, know if, I don't know where the fuck he's going with this here, JP. He's, yeah. We're on our own here. Prince. The he's going rogue. I don't know what the fuck to do. <laughs> Little Prince. It's a doc, Prince. It's, it's the Diet Dr. Pepper commercial. Anyways, uh, Derek, you get another one. Uh, I'm going to go with the Giants team store. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. That's good. <laughs> that's good. I like it. Yeah, I like it. I like, I like it. it. Okay. I'm going to go a roller coaster that goes upside down. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for you, sure. You must be too, or you must be this tall to ride this That's ride. That's way up. He snuck on there. He, he did. was He was sneaky. I put him in my pocket. Yep. That's right. Uh, JP, you get two, dude. I will say a sumo match. Oh, damn you. Damn. You don't want to see, you don't want to see that. That is odd. And I, then, I like that one. Uh, at the top of the beanstalk. <laughs> 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 Oh damn it! That's uh, god damn. That's a that's a good one. I'm gonna go with a uh, I'm gonna go with a pole vaulting competition. Oh no, they're good. Mm-hmm. They just bling. You're, yeah. See the toothpicks? That's that's what they yeah, use. That's, yep, yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, but anyways, uh, you get uh, two, Derek, on a treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> they're holding on for dear life. I've seen it, and it is glorious. <laughs> I used to time my visits to the Y back when I was working out and being healthy uh, at 2.43 p.m. Oh, and, man. And because, uh, that when I'm sitting there and my face is beat red and I'm dripping in sweat and I look I miserable, know, awesome. and that little bastard walked in, <laughs> and you just saw the twinkle in my eye and then the <laughs> scowl on his face when he saw it. Oh, <laughs> God. Glorious. Oh, uh, shit. I All got right. one more, huh? You got one more. Uh, in the middle of the gladiator ring. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> right in the middle. The, uh, I, I heard they're bringing them into a Gladiator 2. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. I, I think that's going to be a great time. Yeah, Russell Sparrow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Rus- what? <laughs> Russell what? Sp- Russell Crow. Russell I know. Sparrow. Okay. Oh. Russell Barnswallow. Oh. Russell Finch. <laughs> uh, let's see. See, um, <laughs> gladiator. <laughs> I think he'd be good at it. You know what I'm saying? Um, my name is Maximus Aurelius. Uh, I'm gonna have to say, ah, uh, no, I can't do that. I, uh, that's that's too mean. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna go with uh, in a barbershop quartet. Okay. Uh, he's the soprano. <laughs> I think he's the bass. Oh yeah, he's the yeah, bass. For sure, the you know bass. what? He's got JP's and voice. Yeah, acapella. Right. <laughs> they all do. <laughs> okay. Uh, how about you, there, JP? You get two. Two. Uh, first one, Oz. 
They they belong because, there. That's what you, I, right. But at first, remember when they first came out, they were fucking scary, man. Yeah, they kind of were. That was a surprise. She did not expect that. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah, that's true. Okay. And then you get one more. A bathhouse. <laughs> <laughs> shit uh okay let's see um god damn it uh i really have nothing i ran out very very quickly <laughs> man and it sucks um let's see caddy at the golf course yeah be weird it could be the bag's like three times taller than they are. Uh-huh. <laughs> Here's your putter, sir. Yeah. The mini golf. You got to climb the, up on a ladder to get it out. Caddy at the mini golf course. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> Even better. Uh, that might be my last answer because I kind of like it. Um, but no. I think uh, you should turn putter in there. <laughs> so, that's so mean. <laughs> Um, God damn it. I, you know what? I'll just, I'm going to end on it. It's not a very good pick, but I like it. I'm going to go with prison. Okay. Yeah. There's uh, got to be midget prison. There, there has to be. There right? has to be, uh-huh. but they got to separate They can't them. be in gen pop. Yeah, they can't you be can't in gen pop. I think they go to juvenile hall. Probably. <laughs> yeah, they put them in with the juvies. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. That's true. That's awesome. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to go with gen pop prison. Yeah. So anyways, uh, that's my uh, last pick. Derek, what's your last pick? Kumite. Fuck! <laughs> this is how Derek wins every fucking time. He's got that off the wall answer that's just fucking brilliant. You piece of shit! I hate you so much. <laughs> the Kumite. Nobody's gonna fucking get that, but that's for me. That's okay. If they look it up, they they'll get it. They'll get it. <laughs> that's shit. my favorite movie, fucking ever. I know it is. Uh, but anyways, guys, <laughs> you. You can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines and vote for your favorite list of the weirdest places to spot a little person uh, slash midget um, and vote uh, by using the corresponding emoji with the list. And whoever wins, get a pat on the butt the next week. Uh, JP might blow you. Uh, but now we get to move on to my. my f- <laughs> yeah, he will. Um, Win or lose. <laughs> that's right. Really. It's what uh, we call a sure thing. So it's, yeah. 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 And, and if he wins, he did, he gets to do a circus trick and blow himself. I can do that, by uh, the way, as oh long as I have somebody to hold my hold my feet. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's gross. All right. But now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer, but not Legos this week. That is Jeremy's thing. Jeremy is going to be on the show multiple times. It's not like he's going away permanently. He's coming back, and that is going to be his thing. Okay? Here, here, All right. That's the, enough Jeremy talk. Yeah. Here's the thing. He's though. not here. He's not here. Here, here's the thing is uh, we 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 kick around some new segment ideas. We do. And uh, JP he did has has brought up an idea for a new segment, and yep. we think that we want you guys to write into this. Mm-hmm. Um, it is going to be uh, JP. What we say it was yeah, going to be. What we say it was called. Uh, no uh, mo about a homo. <laughs> no mo about a homo. Oh, yeah, that's right. Ask a homosexual. Ask a homosexual question. anything. JP right. is an expert on all things all homosexual. All things homosexual. Totally so true. when JP will be here on this show, uh, submit your questions. That's right. You can text them to Scotty. Nope. 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 Three one six. I will fucking suck. four 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 <laughs> four four. I got a knife, motherfucker. Please do it. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ, put me out of my misery. You don't have the balls, you pussy. I know. <laughs> I if don't. you stab Derek, the only thing you're going to get is gravy. <laughs> That's true. And who doesn't love biscuits and, who doesn't and gravy? Love gravy? Yeah. We are in the Midwest. <laughs> Let's go. That's true. Mm-hmm. Uh, but no, you can submit those to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram if you have any uh, questions for JP. Now, the whole idea of this whole ordeal. Um, J- uh, Jeremy's going to be back. JP is going to be back. We're going to have other guests on the show, and we're going to try to rotate them in as best as possible. Derek still obviously does baseball. 
So we're going to have a rotating group. And then we are all, are also going to eventually take a break. Uh, we're, we're still going to put out episodes that are classic episodes that we've done in the past. I know one that I'm going to have JP on because it was fucking hilarious. Um, As most of them that I'm JP on. Will, is true. JP will also, uh, another segment he's working on that we're going to do is rating your dick pics. That's for you sure. Can, you can send those to <laughs> Scotty. No. You can send them to me. Send 316 <laughs> no, don't. no, you don't want to. <laughs> you can send them to Scotty at no, I do on the sidelines. No. Uh, please yes. he would love, love to see love the, God. the dick pics please don't do that please i'm begging you <laughs> it just makes him sad no no because right gonna, that one's better no, too no, no. Oh god are there any of them that look like mine no here's the deal no bullshit because jeremy is why is still, my curve so bad jeremy is still a uh administrator on the facebook side so he'll see him i don't want no any that's excuse. not facebook we're asking to email no. them to scotty oh, and no, laughing on the no, sidelines no, don't right. do that either or do that. just direct message no, at 316 it, stop it i will fucking kill you please don't i don't want anything to scare jeremy away like i have Permanent. his phone number yeah like <laughs> you do um so anyways uh yeah if you have any questions for jp you can send them to uh, send them to us at laughing on the sidelines on instagram or facebook send us a message uh and we'll let J- uh, or uh jp uh go answer those you know on our draft i think i have a i fucking hate that i picked the gladiator one. i know i think i have a better idea. you're gonna get a redo <laughs> yeah I, I don't want a redo I, that's kind of a redo, redo. It, no we don't know i just honorable mention okay yeah. honorable mention honorable mention but I then think, it shouldn't count hold because on. i think this could win it hold on no hold on one second one second <laughs> The, the the people that listen to this show are robbed because once the camera goes off, there is utter fucking gold yeah, that comes out of true. everybody's mouth except for mine. And Derek it usually is, it comes in your mouth. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, Derek is mm. just sitting here like talking out loud and he's like, son of a bitch. What did you say? I, I said uh, a, a really good when uh, awkward place to see a midget on a teeter totter. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's the word teeter totter or the or word teeter totter combined with, with midget. The, yeah, it's definitely the, the combination. But man. I just oh. see some pissed off dude at the top. Not getting down anytime Ugh. soon. And what if it's two oh, midgets shit. at the same time? The teeter totter just sits there like this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like to one. think it's just one midget just going. Take <laughs> me down from here. <laughs> <sighs> okay. That's, Listen. That's good. I love Brad Williams, and, and I'm sorry if this pisses I've off I've worked people. with Brad Williams. I know. Yeah, he's fantastic. I have teeter-tottered with Brad Williams. <laughs> so fuck you both. Did you meef? Yes, I did. <laughs> I meefed. It was the only way to get him down. He fucking loves being meefed. All right. Oh. So then thus created our shitty situation of the week, and I fucking love it. This week's shitty situation is would you rather... For three hours. You're on a date. You're on a date, and you go to a theme park with a midget for three hours. Or would you rather teeter-totter with a midget for three hours? (laughs) Oh, fuck. (laughs) That's fucking great. So here's the thing. uh, For those of you that you may not be following along here. Um, When you go to a theme park... Pretty much all the good rides you want to get on have a height limit. They do. Uh, that's for safety, not for immaturity. <laughs> <laughs> no, because, because, because if it was I immature. wouldn't ride shit that's if it right. was for immaturity. Right. That's right. It is, it is for safety. And so most of those are not midget height. I think correct. Four, yeah, four ten and under is a midget. Is yeah, yeah. yeah. You've got to go to the. It's a small world. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or the merry go around. Right. Yeah. They yeah. actually call that it's a world. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's, it's the world. It's <laughs> yeah. their Epcot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> their biggest thrill it's is a, this. Their the biggest team. thrill is the squirrel cages. Yeah. It's a small world. It's their <laughs> Epcot. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> but, Good deal. So. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, you're literally just if you're you're on that date, you are just standing in line for hours just to go to the front and then try a different ride <laughs> or or <coughs> you're just sitting on the ground for three hours with someone really pissed off yeah. <laughs> um, or you go on the ride and leave your date no behind. no no no, no, no. no, you no you're a you couple have, yep. oh you're, you're a couple, couple? You yeah oh, shit 
So, with that being said, I'm picking a theme park. <laughs> oh, really? With that being said. And I'm going to tell you why. Okay. Because um, there's be- a lot of snack shacks at the theme park. <laughs> That's exactly where I was going. With. I know. Because <laughs> exactly. you're fat yeah. and you like it. cotton candy. And funnel cake. Ice cream. Glizzies. 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 Oh, perfect. Yeah. You know what? I was going to go teeter-totter, but you just won me over with the glizzies. <laughs> um, I'm going midget like, glizzy. I'm like, going midget <laughs> glizzy at the theme park. I like to think Hands some, down. some barker at the carnival just like, Glizzy's here. Get your glizzy. <laughs> red hot glizzy. Two for five, three for nine. Get <laughs> three your glizzy. For nine. Uh, yep, theme yeah. park. So I, that's why I'm going to go theme park. I like park. it. I and then there's, it. there's other things you can do. Like you can play at least play carnival games. You know what you, you can't play? I mean? You know what you can't play? The roller coaster. No, you can't play skee ball because the 1984 defensive player of the well, year. Well, the midget can't play skee ball. I JP know. Can he has throw no down chance. I can throw stuff. down. JP's yeah. rejecting that shit. Mm, you're not getting anything by uh, like, that, uh-huh. like that dude from the Packers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Extra point kick. Extra or, point. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, ouch. Field goal is field goal. You know, I would say that, God, we're going to hell. But we already know that. And we've known that for a very long time. Well, but I'm gay. I, yeah, well, yeah, you're automatically yeah, revoked. Yeah, I'm automatically yeah. revoked. Oh, I disagree. I disagree. Well, you're not. No, you're fine. That's not what Fred Phelps says. There's mm-hmm. only one unforgivable sin, sir. And uh, it's anal. And that is being Scotty. Yeah. Right. That's, well, that's it. I'm that's kicked out permanently. Uh, I, I'm sorry, guys, but. I'm You're going, going teeter totter. I'm going fucking teeter totter. <laughs> Are you serious? I swear, especially if it's a tall teeter totter, to where if I just like sit on it the entire time and it's tall enough to where he can't jump down and oh, not he's hurt definitely him. not going to be able to jump oh, down. No, no, I'm totally doing that for yeah. three hours. I will just be let inter- him sit up there. Oh shit! Just, just cussing, like just cussing me out. It's the first time I'm taller than somebody. Every ever. now and then, every now and then, you just stand up to make him think that he's going to get down, and then you just nope. get back. <laughs> Gotcha. That could be fun. I oh that could God, be fun. I, Just kidding. Oh, I, yeah. I mean, I'm, that's what I'm doing, and it's not even close. I mean, I could go and just eat my fucking face at a at a like a theme park, and it'd probably go by fast. But no, I want that time to go slower than shit and just fuck with that little it dude would. forever. Oh, go. I could do it. Three I hours just, is not even enough. I just like to envision Scotty. On that teeter totter with that midget way the fuck up in the air, just kicked out and just fucking texting. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> yeah, I'm, just, uh, I'm posting a TikTok. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. Oh, uh, that, okay. that, yeah, I'm totally doing that. Hey, say cheese, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like take a picture of whoop, it. Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. To all of our uh, little people listeners out there, uh, we really do love you. We, we love you. We don't yeah. have any. We love you. Yeah, we love you. You're just the right height for blowjob. <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> God damn it. Guys, uh, this was a lot of fun. It and was it's, fun. It's going to continue to be a lot of fun. We will definitely give you as much of a heads up as possible whenever we do decide to take a break. I want to say thank you to JP. We don't know. He may be on next week. We have uh, no idea. We're still kind of rolling with the punches. Um, the but, donkey punches. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the Meefs. Um, mm. But God damn it, we we love doing the show, and uh, we're gonna keep on uh, keep on doing it. And uh, whenever we do take a break, we'll we'll let you know. Uh, and uh, yeah, try to be as upfront as possible. The uh, show also may take ch- take a change of when we decide to release our episodes, so we will try to give you as much of a heads up as that. It just kind of all depends on everybody's schedule and trying to make it work. Uh, but we're gonna have a lot of fun. So guys, thank you so very much uh, from the bottom of our hearts. Keep on doing what you're doing. Share the show. Tell your friends about it uh, whenever you can. And as always, we always like to say if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us... Uh, we hope a midget stabs you to death with a toothpick. <laughs> if you don't like us, <laughs> Tell your enemies. <laughs> and until next time, guys. Stay tuned for an all new episode of Meat Street Mafia. <laughs> <laughs> until next time. Keep laughing at Thank you so much, JP. Guys, we Thanks, will see guys. you later. Take care.